What's up, Bridge Crews, Parshendi, and Knights Radiant? Welcome back to the Fantasy Files podcast, the podcast that wastes hours of your life that you are never getting back. We are your co-hosts, Spencer, Gabe, and Sam, joined by Jim from Fantasy for the Ages, and our friend Gavin, who you might have seen from a few of our episodes, including our latest Dresden Files episode on uh, Cold Days, I believe it was. Uh, since we've started the podcast, we've visited Scadriel, home of the Mistborns. We've been to the ancient ruins of Elantris. We've sailed across the Emerald Sea with Tress, and we've even been to Halandren to watch a love story between Ciri and a god king. Today, we dive back into the Cosmere to give you the episode that you've all been waiting for, and that is the Way of Kings, and this will be our first step into the storm. Light Archive. During this episode, we're going to be making what Cosmere connections we can given the books that we've read, so keep that in mind as you watch this episode. I don't think there will be too many of them, but maybe there are more than I think there are. Uh, we won't be able to make connections with the short stories or any of the other Stormlight books, so please do not spoil anything in the comments for us because we do read them. Before we get going, check the description for links to Jim's channel as well as our socials where you can reach out to us and you can also join us on Patreon to see all of these episodes weeks before anyone else and you also get to see the unedited version of them which has many wild tangents like Sam and Gabe talking about their ADHD for about 20 <laughs> minutes straight. So if that that all sounds interesting. That's a lot of focus. That's a lot of focus, right? I know it's kind of a conundrum. It was easy for us. <laughs> it was easy for us. Oh, but if if that sounds interesting to you guys, then definitely join us there. Uh, that being said, thank you all so much for your patience the last three years while you waited for our Stormlight episode and or episodes, I guess. Uh, you've asked us so many times, so we are so happy to finally be here with you guys. Uh, but with all that out of the way, let's get into it. Uh, Jim and Gavin, thank you so much for hanging out with us today and, and talking some Stormlight. A pleasure. Yeah. <laughs> really happy to be back. Jim, you've you've talked about Stormlight on your channel, right? Is, do you guys do you guys have like a lot of episodes on it? Really? Is, is it we something? have not. We held okay. off because Zach didn't read these books until just last year. Mm, and okay. then we were waiting for around this time. So we'll have stuff coming out soon. We nice. did an episode on Elantris recently and then Warbreaker and we're and we've already done Mistborn. So we're kind of like at yeah. this point now. Okay, so, sweet. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Did you like Elantris or Warbreaker more? Oh, Warbreaker more for sure. Yep. Oh, Absolutely. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Okay. I like Elantris, but it feels like early Sanderson when I read yeah. it, you know, whereas yeah. Warbreaker is such a rich, fun story in so many levels. Plus, it has more tie-ins to the rest of the Cosmere mm -hmm. than Elantris does. There's tie-ins sure. there, but Warbreaker is connected. It's good stuff. Yeah. And, and you've read Era 2 of Mistborn, right? Yes. Yes. Okay. Just making sure. I know. So here's the thing is Sam has not read anything be before Stormlight. And I scheduled this video thinking that she had. And then she told well, us in the text group. Time. You read what? <laughs> I read um the first one. Um, I read it okay. twice. What do you call it? Uh, Final Empire. Yeah, I read the first. Yeah, the Final Empire. I read it twice, and both times I tried to start the second book, I could not get into it. And oh, I wow. came back to the second book both times. Oh my! Yeah. Uh, so, so Sam, you haven't read anything else, Cosmere? No, but you can spoil <laughs> it for me. It's totally fine because I just, I, I, I could not get into the other books. Okay. I just couldn't. Okay. <laughs> I mean, that, that connects to the fact that brilliance of Sanderson's writing. You can yeah. read yeah. each of these various <clears throat> things yeah. in the Cosmere as standalones as, yeah. and just enjoy them. But if you've read them all, 
yeah. all the Easter eggs are there. All yeah. the tie-ins yeah. that just enriches the experience. Yeah, he's the Easter egg master. There's no yeah. <laughs> but like, I, I've read all of the Cosmere stuff now before doing The Way of Kings reread for me. Wow. But the first time I read The Way of Kings, I hadn't read much else. Mm, yeah. It made a difference. It I'm really sure. Did. I'm sure. You know, Way of Kings was my first Sanderson. And going back after having read everything else, it, it's a whole different experience. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I will say, Sam, that the second book of Mistborn, I forget what that one is titled, but that second book is easily the worst out of the three. I really don't like that book either. It's probably I didn't my mind least. it. It's many it's people's like, favorite Sanderson. Yeah, I didn't really yeah, like it, mine, but sure. it is yeah. the, the weaker of the three. It's kind yeah, of it's definitely trilogy. the weaker of the, the three. The middle yeah. is the, yeah. is the I, I, words escape, but sure. that's how it works. Yep. Yeah. Yep. yeah. But I will say, Getting through that second book, if you if you just get through that second book and read the third one, Gold. the third like might be one of your favorite books of all time because yeah. the third the third is very much what I'm seeing Stormlight do like what Stormlight is doing is very much like what the third is. Yeah. I'm yeah. trying to hold the myself thing... back from ranting and raving because I have a couple friends who DNF'd after book two and it kills me because oh, I, bet. Oh, I bet. that wow. was that wow. hurts your soul it, man it, killed, it rips oh, that hurts your really? soul yeah the, the other thing to cling to with these Anderson amazing. books, Close. though, is when you do struggle getting into one, is remember, he always ends with a Sander Lanch. Mm -hmm. It's worth yeah. it. Push <laughs> yeah. through yeah. the boring, yeah. and you're going to get blah at yeah. the end. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no more so than the last 60, 70 pages of the first Mistborn trilogy. Um, it's really yeah. nothing like it. Dude, yeah. That I think book... every one of these books, I've lost sleep because of the end of them. Yeah, oh, you yeah, can't sure. stop. I can't stop now. And when it's Stormlight Archive, that's like, all right, three in the morning. <laughs> 350 yeah. pages. Yeah. Yeah, I think the the Mistborn series, especially that first era, the second era, not so much. I, I'm one of those oh. rare people that love the second era yeah, of Mistborn. I, I, yes, I do. Totally. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Like I like I genuinely love this. Yep. I've I've read I've read I've read the second era of Mistborn more times than I have the first. Mm. Uh but that that first era of Mistborn, I remember starting it and being like, this is cool. Like a lot of people have have talked about this series and I get why they like it. This is this is cool. And that's kind of like how I felt about Way of Kings. And then when I got to I read the second book and I was like, I hate this. And then I read the third book <laughs> and I was like, that might have been like it, it might not make it into like my top three favorite books of all time, but I think it might be one of the top three most well-written books I've ever read. Like one of the, yeah. just like from an objective angle, I'm like, the, what he was able to do with this is absolutely mm -hmm. insane. And I've never I, I seen anything like it. Great reveals and Sanderson does it so well. And Way of Kings is another great example. And so is Mistborn for certain. Yeah. yeah for Every sure. single Sanderson book I've read though is much better on a reread. Mistborn, yeah. no exception. You know, sure. both Era mm -hmm. One and Era Two, like the Alloy mm. of Law, I did not like the first time because mm. it was yeah. such a shift from Mistborn yeah. Era One. But yeah. then on a reread, I'm like, this is so much fun. You know? Yeah, <laughs> that's exactly how I felt. I I, I reread Era One probably nine months ago. Yeah, Maybe, not too yeah, long some, ago. something like that. Uh, and it was exactly what you said. It was so much, so much richer than it was the first yeah. time. And I caught so many more nuances and it was, it was cool. He put so much into yeah. these stories, a lot of foreshadowing, you know, yep. that you just, you don't even see it the first time. Exactly. There's, yeah. It's important. You can't, cool. there's no way. Yeah. There's yeah. no way you could catch I like that. how Brandon's going to go back to write the third Mistborn, the next Mistborn series, the same as he wrote yeah. the first, which is all three books together without releasing any of them. So he can go back to that insane uh, oh. foreshadowing, uh, which is so amazing in Mistborn because he wrote... He wrote them all three before the first one was published, so he was able to go back oh, and, and really see, I didn't even know see that. stuff. Yeah, that's awesome. I really awesome. want to read his secret project books. I haven't gotten those, but those are definitely. Can't, on can't my read own. those till you finish this one. Oh, then I guess. Yeah. It's true. <laughs> uh, yeah, true. That is that is true. That is true. Yeah. Although the yeah, one right. that's not connected to the Cosmere, you can go read. That one's a hoot. <laughs> Yeah, okay. that oh, one was fun. Which one is that? So you the wizard in medieval England. Oh, yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. The yeah. Frugal Wizard's yeah. Handbook. It was just yeah. fun. I had so much yeah. fun with it that was. book. Yeah, 
I think I think that was like people's least favorite secret project, but I loved it. I, like, yeah. I was my I favorite so much, of those yeah. four books, honestly. I had so I'll just take up. With that book. I'll yeah, take up. I loved all three secret projects. I loathed uh that one that one i, <laughs> I did an episode well, I'm, I'm on, on that the other saying side. the cosmere is restraining sanderson too much this is what we could have yeah See, i loved the book yeah. So, you know, yeah different tone different style didn't work yeah. for me yeah for sure yeah i think i think sanderson's humor is like really hit or miss like it either either you're into it and you enjoy it or it just like does not work for you at all and I've had some Sanderson books where the humor really worked for me. And, and for whatever reason, the Frugal Wizard's Guide was one of those that I just really enjoyed the humor in. Um, and Tress as well. And then there's other books where I'm just like, I am just not digging the humor. Like like this one. Like I, I just didn't find this book very funny when it was when it was yeah. trying to be funny. Yeah. I think yeah, my son's I think that's theory pretty on common, that, that I don't disagree with, with is that when Sanderson tries to write someone being funny, it falls flat almost every time. But when he's just writing stuff that's naturally funny, it slays. Hmm. Yeah. You know, so he, he over tries sometimes. Zach describes him as a stand up comic who's trying too hard. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's Sanderson yeah. sometimes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, agree, uh, I would agree with that. I'll just point out that a uh, dad over here just used uh, slays. He in did. A he did. You did say slay, which is, <laughs> I did. It's really <laughs> impressive. <laughs> so, um, do we want to do we want to go around and kind of talk about? I mean, people know uh, Gabe and my journey with the Cosmere, but do we want to talk about like our? like how we got into Sanderson or like what some of our favorite books are. And we can start with, say, you can talk about uh, Stormlight and just like your love of Stormlight if you want, Sam. Yeah, for me, it's really just been Stormlight. Um, I just really connected with his books immediately. And like I said, every time a new one came out, I started the series over to refresh myself with everything. And um, I also really appreciate a consistent author, you know, who consistently yeah. yep. puts out that. books instead of leaving me hanging for decades at a time. Yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. exactly. Yeah. Oh, God. That's, 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 that's pretty much it for me, you know? Yeah, yeah <laughs> for sure. Yeah. Do you, do you have any, uh, any like specific connection to Stormlight? Like, was there something about the series that, that drew you in? I mean, I really connect to Kaladin's story in general. I love, um, as you know, I like to call it misery porn. It's just one of my favorite <laughs> books to read. And Kaladin's story is really one of those, like, you know, the Farseer books by Robin Hobb are one of my favorite series ever. And it has a lot of matching parallels with, you know, somebody who just keeps getting kicked and being told to stay down and they yep. just refuse to. And I think that's what I really love about stormlight <laughs> nice that's great jim do you want to talk about your uh your journey through the cosmere sure. so far i mean i met brandon sanderson because he saved the wheel of time he was the guy to right. be brought in when robert jordan passed away take all the notes finish the last book and instead he puts out three massive volumes <laughs> some of which is completely original sanderson in those books and I love the ending of The Wheel of Time. So then I'm like, hey, has this guy written anything else? Yeah. Mm. That's how I then went to Mistborn mm, and nice. loved Era 1 of Mistborn and then just kept looking for more things. And I've followed him ever since. I've read everything Cosmere related. I've also read his, uh, oh goodness, what's the name of those? Uh, Steelheart. Uh, yeah, the Secret that series. Yeah, I've read that yeah. too, but that's the only other thing outside of the Cosmere that I've read so far. But I've read everything I could get my hands on. I've enjoyed all of it. Some is excellent. Some is okay. My yeah. favorite now is The Way of Kings because I just finished the reread and it was yep. like, ah! <laughs> yeah. Before that, I would have said Rhythm of War was my favorite. Oh, okay. But it was mm. real close with Oathbringer. You know, real close. Interesting. Don't I think most people hate Rhythm of War, don't they? Is that a They're common wrong, though? I used to a lot of people being wrong. It's okay. Yeah, yeah. That's awesome. Oh, that's great. I love that. 
Um, uh, and for, right. so, yeah, so right. for me, I found um, I was on the Tor.com reread as a, one of the commenters back in 2012, 2013 for Name of the Wind, Wise Man's Fear back in those days in the heyday of the Tor.com rereads. And okay. people in the comments back then, it's like, hey, this is awesome. We need to do one of these for uh, the Way of Kings. I'm like, oh, well, that, my, th this is my jam. I love this. Like, what's this Way of Kings book? Why does it deserve the same treatment? Because they're, you mm -hmm. know, going through chapter by chapter, the deep dive, the whole thing. Okay. And so I uh, I just pick it up. Had no idea. Hadn't read The Wheel of Time yet. Um, didn't know anything. Picked up the book, read it. Um, thought it was interesting. Was really was enjoying it. Was intrigued. The world, the characters. Um, I didn't like I, I identified with all I liked all the characters. So that's a big that was a big thing for me. I guess I guess I guess loved it. And then I got to the end, like pretty much from when Dalinar is walking with Navani and they get the call and it's the, the initiate what leads to the tower scene from then to the end. Like I I'm pretty sure I read nonstop and it was yeah. unlike it was like an out of body experience for me. It was unlike anything I'd ever read. I got to the end. My mind was blown. I immediately I've never done this before. Flipped right back to the beginning reread the prologues wow. over again with the added context yeah and i'm like yeah, smart move and yep. then immediately smart start googling move. figuring what's going on here okay 10 books lovely um then they got all the and then i just churned through everything and i've read everything by brandon sanderson except for his ya stuff or no i've okay. actually read the ya stuff i haven't read the like middle school anything below that like i've read the sci-fi oh, okay. which yeah, i yeah, think yeah. is considered wi-fi ya yeah um but yeah i've read all his non-cosmere stuff but I, I'm more of a, a Cosmere fan than anything. Uh, and then I've okay. reread most of it. I've reread pretty much everything except for Lantris. And I've never read uh, White Sand because I don't mess with graphic novels. Uh, and apparently it's yeah. getting a prose treatment. So I'm just going to wait for the prose. I enjoyed um, White Sand. I did. Yeah. Yeah, I just but don't I do. I've never read, read a graphic episode. novel. I, I don't really have any interest in it. Okay. I think for me there's a, I think there's like a White Sands audiobook uh, on That's Audible. what I've heard. Yeah. Um, but it's like, wait, it's graph. Uh, anyway, so may I should sure. give it a try, but it's tough for me to get motivated when yeah. Brandon's already announced he's going to rewrite the whole thing in prose. So yeah, um, yeah, yeah, that's fair. Yeah, it's better to wait for that. <laughs> White Sand audiobook. And in the next frame, we see. Yeah. Well, yeah, exactly. It's kind of, <laughs> That'd be weird. Maybe we should check it out just to see. But yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's cool. That's and so, yeah, uh, Stormlight Top 5 se se series for me, my favorite book, The Way of Kings. Um, that just gets reiterated every time I read it. Um, the Way of Kings is one of my favorite all time. So your, awesome. so your, your favorite out of out of this series, out of the Stormlight, is book one. Out of this series and of pretty much all books, it's oh, the top cool. five. Oh, awesome. awesome. But of nice. Stormlight, it's number one. Okay, um, sweet. And most people, I think, number two, and I get it. Where it's Radiance is a fantastic yeah. book, but I will the experience of like the last third, last quarter, whatever of the Way of Kings or something, I'll never forget. I love yeah. it. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I did nice. a poll on our Twitter feed recently asking, hey, these four books, what's your favorite? Words of Radiance won hands down. Mm. So for most people, that's it. But again, like I said, I'm used to people being wrong. So, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> more, man. Come on. Yeah. yeah, the way the way that and I, I guess we can get into like our general thoughts on Way of Kings, because the way that this book ended mm. made me think that uh words of radiance was probably gonna be i don't know if it'll be my favorite out of the whole series but i could almost guarantee that i'll like words of radiance more than i i liked this book um and i i like this book a lot uh i think that it it's like a perfect depiction of what sanderson is good at he's good at world building he's good at magic systems and he's occasionally good at characters. Like I, I don't think I've always been um, super impressed with his character work in some books. Um, but but they have moments. There's there's moments where you you see what Kelsier is doing, and you're like, oh, that's what he's about. Or you see, you know, Vin grow as a, a Mistborn, and you're like, wow, she became so awesome. Um, but then you, you look at some books and it's like, uh, I, there's some that I just don't really jive with. And I think this book for me was a perfect representation of that where, uh, one character that I thought he did really, really well was Shalon. I really, really enjoyed her POV chapters. I would honestly read the whole book from, from her POV, uh, 
and once I got to um or or the Kaladin chapter, Sam sees like, me biting my tongue. Yeah. I know. <laughs> you have no yeah. idea. No, it's it's good to like her chapters. It's good. But, oh, <laughs> okay. So when much more to come, my friend. Chat, so much more. Like, I'm loving the so, Shalon chapters. I was like, what? Yeah. <laughs> I don't, I don't even know how I can talk about Shalon. Boring, and I was like, those yeah. are my favorite ones. <laughs> there okay. were things I caught about Shalon in this reread. I'm like, oh, we can't yeah. talk oh, about cool. that today. Oh, man. Oh, cool. Yeah, that's that's good to know that she like stays like a main yeah. character and, oh, yeah. and becomes more because oh, at least for a couple more chapters. Yeah, at least. <laughs> <laughs> Don't do that. Don't do that. You're going to scare us away. Gosh, dang it. And the one, yeah. the one thing I'll say on it, it's clear yeah. that Shalon has a mysterious past. I'll say it's even more mysterious than you could potentially even believe. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. And you learn a lot, good lot luck, more. Good luck sleeping yeah. tonight. Okay, okay, cool. But that's yeah, what Sanderson I... does brilliantly in this yeah. series. He gives you pieces. There's so much more to know, but he doesn't give it to you yet. No, nope, yeah. just right. pieces. And keeps dragging you in, drawing you further. And and yeah. I, I just want to say, you know, Stormlight Archive, you've got all of Sanderson's work in the Cosmere. And then you have Stormlight Archive. It truly right. is mm -hmm. a whole nother level. That's, I would echo that wholeheartedly. Awesome. I love Brandon. Yes. But I put Stormlight on a pedestal way above everything else. Yeah. Cool. Wow. That's yeah. cool. Awesome. Yeah, I'm I'm super excited to to see where she goes because at at every turn she just has something interesting going on that I thought was better than what the Same. other characters' stories were for this book. Yeah. And you know, even things like even things around her, like you get a a little POV segment from one of her brothers and he's like pulling the legs off of crabs and he's kind of like this secretly <laughs> sadistic guy. Yes. And you're like, you're like, what Not is yeah. this? Not and, then, yeah. and then at the very end of the book, she just quickly like in her narrations mentions that she, or when she's talking to the being, whatever that being is, Need a she's secret. like, She's like, a I truth. killed my father. A truth. And it's like, yes. wait, she killed her father? Oh, that's what? a big truth. Yes. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. And so, so I'm, I'm really excited to, to see what's up with her. But then looking at Kaladin, he was like the next rung down. He wasn't like too far down from Shalon for me, but <laughs> he was just like, for the longest time, I was like, he just isn't doing anything. And I understand he's stuck at like this slave camp and he's trying to make the best of it and everything. And it was around the time where he turned the bridge like sideways, sideways and started yeah. carrying it as a shield. I was like, oh, that's cool. And things started to progressively yep. get more interesting yep. from there. Uh, but before that, I, I, I don't want to say I have a problem with it, like it's a bad thing in general, but I I really hate reading about people in prison or like that are like enslaved or something. And there's some other of our favorite books, uh, like King's Dark Tidings, where somebody is enslaved. And I'm like, I just hate reading about this. Um, and so that that was like bugging me for a lot of the book. But I... I texted Sam or I texted the group chat and I was like, I was like, please just tell me. I'm like, I like this. It, this is such an, it's like the one thing in fantasy that I just can't read for some reason. I, it really just makes me feel claustrophobic when I'm reading about someone who's imprisoned. Um, and so I'm like, can you please just tell me? if Kaladin is in bridge four for the rest of the book, <laughs> or if, if he is, can you tell me if it just gets better or if, if he gains more like, it's like, uh, like yes and yes. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That's exactly <laughs> what she said. Yeah. Well, no, the first thing I said was, is I said, who stole Spencer's phone? I know Spencer would not ask me. <laughs> yeah, for real. <laughs> yeah, for real. Like he's the last person I would have ever thought. To and ask then all I said that. was yes. And he went to which one? And I was like, yes. Yes. <laughs> hey, I have known people frustrated with the Kaladin plot because it's like emo boy. Come on, yeah. get over it. You know, sad boy Kaladin. But yeah. for me, See, Kaladin I... was my favorite part of the book Same. the first time okay. through, and and this time just another level. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. love Shalon. That's a good, interesting storyline. Better because I know where it's going now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Kaladin was the bomb, and mostly yeah. because of Sil. I'm sorry. Yeah. I love Sil. Yeah, Sil is great. 
I love I loved his little spren. That's awesome. Or whatever yeah. she is. But um yeah, I, I think that he gets progressively more and more interesting and and once he gets his powers, it's like, okay, he's awesome. Like what like once he actually like figures out how to and I I still I don't know if we're really told in this book or if we'll find out later. I still don't really understand why he has these powers, but once he got Neither them, does I, he. Okay. Good, <laughs> yeah, good, I was good, gonna good, say because because he's always he's point, had him since we've met him. You know, there were there mm -hmm. were the the stones or whatever yep. they're called. Little they were, nuances. Yeah, that were there, getting uncharged yes. because they were around him, right? Good and job so that you oh, caught that. I knew I he didn't had it. See, I didn't time. catch that. Yeah, 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 I caught that. Still oh, reveal she was following him around back when he was, you know, back when he was a soldier. And you, yeah. and if you go back right. and read yeah. it, he mentions, yeah. you know, the wind's friend. Like yeah. you, you can see it on the reread that she was there mm -hmm. the whole time. Mm -hmm. yeah. so oh, like, he oh, notices her. He notices wind's friend, yeah. and you, yeah. looking back, can see that that was oh, exactly. Like, he wasn't oh. sure that that was like his special wind friend that is going to stick with him, but he saw. But she her keeps back dropping then. comments yeah. of yep. remembering this yeah. and yep. did that, and it's like, oh, mm -hmm. what you were there? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I'm, I'm really excited to find out more about her because that was one of the more like intriguing aspects, like even from the very beginning when he's in the carriage being taken off to the, to the bridge camp, I'm like, this is really interesting. This little being, because we meet other Spren, I think mm -hmm. before this, yeah, and they she's quite a bit different. doing this. Yeah. yeah. She, she, yeah. There's something unique wanting, about her that is connected with Kaladin for sure. Wanting yeah. to know more about that and really enjoying that part is why so many people love Words of Radiance. Mm -hmm. So you're going to be very happy with the second book. Cool. Nice. Awesome. Okay, cool. Well, and this book was all Kaladin's past. We were getting the pieces. I love the flashbacks. And in yeah, each flashbacks. following book, mm -hmm. a different character is given. We're getting their flashbacks in each coming book. I won't say who gets what, but. Because that would admit who's still yes, alive. Yes. So we right. don't <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. You will start getting the other characters past in each of the, the coming books, which is really cool because it explains so much about each of the characters. Mm. That's so great. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I, I loved it. I loved there was like interesting things about Kaladin. And I, I think I liked all of the characters, like all of the like main cast of characters. I really enjoyed them, but I think besides Shalon, I think their situations were the thing that was just kind of boring me about some of the characters because like Kaladin, great, especially once he gets his powers, but then you go on to Dalinar. Yeah. A lot of Dalinar stuff was like kind of a I, slog. I was so bored. Yeah, I, I was so bored during the chapters. Not on a and reread. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm sure yeah. that's true. I'm yeah. sure that's true. Yeah. When you start to see the the real Dalinar coming out towards the end of this book, you know what I mean? Yeah, I did like, like oh, that Dalinar a lot more than I liked this. This is the Dalinar first. everyone keeps yeah. referencing. Man. When he's like, and well, you're finally starting to see it at the end. How yeah. about a shard blade? Yeah, 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 yeah. unbelievable. That was amazing. Like, what the heck? Oh, what is going on? So I first read this book a long time ago, but there are some moments that, of reading that are just burned into my memory. Kaladin launching himself across the bridge, Dalinar offering the sword, Lear, Lear. Like there are some moments that yeah, I'll never yes. forget. The moment yeah. I read it, and Dalinar, because yeah. you're thinking, how's what's going to happen here? There's no way Dalinar's too. There's no way it's got to happen. But it, yeah. can't, it never crosses any any of the yeah, readers' minds that a shard blade is even in play. That nobody and would ever Kaladin do. Has been there yeah. all along that these light eyes deep down, they all suck. Yeah. They all suck. He knows. They will always disappoint. He knows. Yeah. And Dalinar does that and Kaladin's mind is blown. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. Because if Dalinar had gone back on his word, that would have been the final nail in the coffin for Kaladin. Oh, he totally. Yeah. Totally. Yeah. yeah. Everything right. he ever thought about them would, would, would have been true in his mind. There's no, yeah. And he's right. always said like, there is no good light eyes. So to finally yeah. see someone stick to their word. In yeah. That and even way, asking, like, why, why would you do you know, that? And he explains. It's, it's my and it's favorite like, part. Dude. Yeah. yeah. Hey, awesome. yeah. I don't get emotional reading books, but that moment. Yeah. 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 The and eyes might've been a little like, moist. I'm just going to say, yeah. maybe. Uh, that's fair. Been. That's fair. Mm. He says, like, yeah. what is his shard blade worth? And they're like, well, it's priceless. Mm. And then he's like, well, what is a life worth? And he's yep. like, priceless. And he's like, yep. see, I traded That's it. That's one it, priceless right thing there. for however many number. Of and he's like, I, I got like a good, good deal. Good bargain to me. Yeah. 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 I'm, I'm, I'm chills Man. right now. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Such a great 
<laughs> Spencer, Gabe, I really want to know what you thought of the interludes. Because my first time through, I hated the interludes. And this so, time, they yeah, blew my mind. I would, I I would say them. that the interludes for me, I would probably say they weren't like super high on my list. But I, they, they were always intriguing, right? Like okay. it, was, it was just weird parts. You know, people doing things like the guy in the alley with the homeless guy. That was... That, that was the one where I was like, huh, okay, something's got to be going on here, right? And so yeah. I'll, I would love to figure out what that, you know, if we ever learn what happens there, or what that's for would be really cool. See, I don't even, I don't even remember what that was, the homeless guy in the, well, I don't even so, remember so the there was, I, I can't remember his name. He's but testing he, for kinds of sprint. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, 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 like this, yeah, it, yeah, and he lands, he's and that drunk, was drunk he sprint. Yeah, he's trying to find. Yeah, exactly. And he wakes up in this alley and this homeless guy's like, they were talking about this church, you know, or something. He's like, yeah, you, you, uh, I mean, maybe you can tell it better. There was something about a family and he was like, oh, I hope I didn't hurt him. He's like, well, the church you stepped on, they were inside of it. So they all died or something like that. Oh. It's like, funny, but it's not actually so it's his all just garbage. He's a homeless guy with like garbage so, around. Like he's just yeah. manic, crazy dude. Oh, right. so was, right. was this the same guy that was, um, was this the same guy that like didn't he Saw see Kuka like Kesh, a giant the big water spring? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, right, right. yeah yes. that was cool. The shows like was it once a day at a set time? Always shows up at the same time. Every morning. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And I loved when he says like because he writes everything down on his body. Yes, so, yeah. He's like, he's the, what's, the, this, what's the species he is? He's an amian, but there's two types a of amians. I can't remember which one he is. Okay, because yeah. I remember I him like, specifically hope... saying like that's our we can change our bodies, and that's why he writes his notes on yeah. his, mm -hmm. like as mm -hmm. tattoos. Mm -hmm. I liked when he said though that he was like, I hope I didn't write it in like a really yeah, and it really weird. Yeah, I loved that part. Yep. And that's where Brandon Sanderson's being funny. Yeah. Yeah. Without trying too hard. Yeah. It's just yeah. a natural that's yeah. humor. That's yeah. good. Yeah. Yeah. yeah that's good sure. humor. I agree. For sure. Yeah, I thought I thought that guy was was really interesting. I was like, oh, there's people in this world that are like looking at the different types of spren and like writing things down about it. I mean, it's like, yeah, of course, like of course you would have people like investigating that because I'm sure there's not a lot known about them, right? People yeah. are kind of like, oh, they're just there and they don't they don't like physically interact with things, right? Like they're not, they don't physically like harm yeah. people. They're no, just, I would just say the, the highlight. To yeah, put the, it just to, on that point, they don't even know in world. And Kaladin has a discussion with Syl. Um, do windspread cause the wind? Do do rot spread cause rot? Are they attracted by rot? They don't the even right, understand the, the causality yeah. um, yep. or lack of, or. Uh, yeah. This is an area where they are, the people in world are researching. Are trying, trying to figure mm -hmm. out and you're going to get more of that as you move yeah. through the series. Oh, that was that was yeah. a really in intriguing thing for me reading this was like you know every every part you learn of a new spren and you finally realize that for every like for every action or like rot or or pain fear. or fear there's a spren that is associated with it which is really really intriguing. I was really intrigued mm -hmm. by all that. Don't want to see death spren. Exactly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah totally. Yeah. That's, that's, that's still protecting you. Yeah, that's right, right. Yeah. That's one of the things about this book that kind of instantly hooked me yeah, was, same. you know, I, I think for a lot of fantasy books, we get a lot of fantasy set in like a medieval, a vaguely medieval England yeah. kind of area. <laughs> and Roshar and just everything happening on it felt very alien compared to other fantasy books that we see. Like a lot of it is like the you know, these planes that are all like cracked and there's these storms that come through that people have to build like walls around their city to protect them from. And then things like the spren and even the uh, like the the shard uh, or not the shards, um, the stormlight rocks or whatever that are just filled with stormlight. Oh, yeah. The, can... the currency. Gems. It's their yep. currency. Yeah, yeah. The, the currency, but also it sounded. Do they do they grow in nature too? Or are they just like natural? They mine them. Forming. There's things? both. Yeah. They, they, they find mine these and things from these great shells. Yeah. Well, what do you guys think about men in this world not being allowed to read? Yeah, that was interesting. That was thought... also interesting. Yeah. Yeah, because like there's the like the safe masculine hands, and feminine the arts. Safe hands is another thing. Yeah, yeah. Safe hands. yeah. another Crazy. thing. I was yeah. like, I would absolutely lose my mind if one of yeah. them basically could not use all day. Like, yeah. right? It was so. I loved it for the story, but I couldn't 
not think of it like realistically and i was like this would drive me yeah insane. totally, totally. <laughs> to see the occasional yeah. woman who has a glove a glove yeah of in the right yeah. Pouch and she's like, like oh, the, uh, scandalous exactly <laughs> right exactly yeah 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 i thought was... when i was reading though it was like you know they really he really did a good job of like in introducing the norms of the society like such as yeah. girls reading and writing and men not and how even Dawn in, and Dawn even in some other some other places like there are men that could write but it was like secretive and this and that so i don't know i thought it was i thought it was well done like i wasn't upset about any of that it was weird yeah. for sure yeah, but, yeah. and most yeah. of yeah. what you're Especially getting when... is for Al alethkar you know yeah. the mm -hmm. alethes uh, we get the in the interludes we get to see a little bit else, a little bit more, world, and it's yeah. not necessarily the same. Yes, yeah, so well, and that's what you right see on. really yeah. coming back because you think like, oh, this is a world, but it's like, no, this is a left car, and like yeah. you go outside it and you yeah, see what those like, people think like of a left car, and it's not like, oh yeah, that, place, like they're yeah. the most warlike warrior. Yeah. Um, there's a lot more civilized. Boys. Like frat boys, you know, like that's what frat I boys. Oh, oh, I love that. Frat boys. That's awesome. He's trying to out. Adolin is so friends. a frat boy. Yeah, <laughs> who loves nothing more than a blood that frenzy. That solution for them. It was like, no, we love healthy competition, even if it's to our own detriment. And I was like, okay, frat boys, got it. Yeah. <laughs> the, the, and the I Alessia haven't looked ahead here, at all of the 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 comments you've prepped here, Spencer. But you sure. know, when we talk about frat boys and Alethkar and these guys. You gotta talk about the thrill. Yeah. Did you That's what I said, blood, blood, chime blood. into that at all? Did you no. catch that? Yeah, I don't know if I did either. I mm, I don't think there's enough yet. Oh, like are you, are you talking about the, Yeah, well, like when he gets a spear in his hand, and all of a well, sudden, every he, time they're off battling, Dalinar yeah. talks about when the yeah. thrill takes the over. Yeah, oh, it's and then great. it's like he's. But being, then he has being, moments in this book where, where that thrill changes. just evaporates and he's yes, nauseous i did i did notice like, that i did notice hmm, that huh. yeah what is I that? Totally noticed that there's yeah, something he, that he was, he was, he was of yeah, yeah he was like thrill. what is happening like i was just i was just ready to fight 10 guys and now i can't believe i'm doing this yeah. Yeah. Was, yeah, i don't think i even caught that so what yeah, i'll like, say is i remember reading it it's like oh yeah like these are warriors they, they go into a friends and they get bloodlust yes. and then you get yeah. further and further and then it's like cutting off very quickly it's like wait a second this isn't this is a little bit more than what I thought. Yeah, this is actually exactly. perhaps maybe a little, yep. little supernatural. Totally. I mean, and we'll learn Alan more on that. and Dalinar and, and Sadius, who sucks, by the way. But Sadius, you know, they're out there <laughs> yeah. and they're yep. they're chopping people down. You know, when you have a, a shard blade, oh, it's just the, like the amount of damage they're doing yeah. <laughs> yes. yeah. it really is quite shocking. should Crazy. be horrifying. And mm -hmm. they're loving it. And yet we get to see Dalinar starting to be horrified. Yeah, but they don't talk about the thrill. Mm. That's a detail I picked up on this read. It's like, oh yeah, that is. It is not something that's discussed. Down there, asks Adolin about it once, and he's like, "What are you like? Yeah, like of course I feel a thrill, but why are you talking about that, Dad?" And it's like, uh, it's. Uh, I think a part of it is, it's tough when you're not in the thrill and you just see how much carnage those guys are doing. Right, and right. Really, you. It really puts into perspective that this armor and these <laughs> weapons. Well, actually, maybe that it's like they're. It's really good, effective against uh, non yeah, I mean, bears. The I'll, colon I'll approach change. to attacking uh, Parshendi is we'll jump across, murder 200 of them while you bring the bridge. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the, and the, the first instance I think I saw of that is of that battle rage or battle focus, whatever you call it, was when Kaladin, like, first, I can't remember when it happened, but he, he got a hold of a spear. You know, I think it was later when he had his team. It was in a flashback. I th oh, no, in the, or maybe, in the it, chasm. It could have been. Totally could have been in a flashback. I'm not sure. But I just remember him talking in her monologue, like saying, like, what is this? What am I feeling right now? As he's, like, going at it somewhere with with a spear. I don't, mm -hmm. I don't know where it was from, but I remember being like, okay, there's something yeah. going on here. No, I think that was when... Dalinar finally allows his men to go on a plateau run for the first time in like forever. And when he gets out there, he's like, oh my God, why have I been avoiding this? Like, I'm feeling the thrill. This is amazing. Right? Dalinar or Kaladin? Mm -hmm. Dalinar. Kaladin doesn't yeah. ever hey. feel it, to be oh, honest. Oh, I thought we were talking about Dalinar. Uh, I, was, right? I was pretty sure that I I remember him feeling it, but I could be wrong. So that's Yeah, I, I don't think Kaladin talks time. about the thrill, but he does feel the... The, the magic in a sense of okay of maybe, maybe one with the spear maybe that's you know? what i was thinking of yeah yeah and that's i think more tied it's not a spoiler that's more tied to who we see him at, becoming As at the, the end future? of the book okay 
Yeah. You know? Okay. Mm-hmm. Can we talk about Seth's gravity magic? Oh, oh please. That's cool. dude. Lashing, baby. Lashing is dude. awesome, dude. <laughs> it was so cool. It's awesome. Brilliant I remember... creation of Sanderson. Yeah, oh, Lashing dude. is super cool. This is one of those things where Sanderson has a way of like thinking about magic in such a different way to where if you were anybody else watching this guy, you would be like, oh, he's just like, he's got the magic to like zip around and he no, can just different. like move he's really quick. Literally class. changing gravity but of himself, dude. <laughs> I love yeah. that Sanderson was able to describe it as like he changes it's science so the, the, it's the science. way that yeah. it's pulled exactly. Exactly. and he's able yeah. to do it to tables and at one point he he lashed a table both to the ceiling and the ground and so it just like floated there mm-hmm. and i'm like that's so cool and then of course he's able to do it to himself and like fly down a hallway yep. I, or dude. just cut a big piece of the wall out and then quadruple lash it that way that's right yeah. and it's like a yeah, semi truck yeah. dude mm-hmm. yeah Wow. And we see well, Kaladin do that too with the rock. Like the first time he kind of realizes he's got these powers. And yeah. he's talking with the Spren and he puts the rock up there. Uh, and that, that yeah. had to have been lashing, right? I'm assuming that's what it was. That's what he was doing. He doesn't know well, what he's doing yet. But he doesn't. Yeah. Okay, okay. So that's, I guess, we're going to find out. But we do yeah. see him do a reverse lashing when he pulls all the arrows to the shield and he gets yeah. like 100 arrows in yeah. his arm and shield. That's the yeah. same reverse lashing. Yeah. Well, that's yeah. another one of those moments. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Like, but uh, to the point about oh. uh, Seth and his flying and Brandon's humor. So I'm generally somebody's pretty down on Brandon's humor. It's not something I really read books for. It doesn't bother me. Shallon, yeah. it's like, I don't understand why people are treating her like she's funny. She's not that funny. But there are funny moments. And one of those funny moments is kind of like, uh, Kaladin's like, oh, I guess I guess I'm a windrunner. I guess I can run on the walls. And he just runs towards the chasm and tries to plant his, his feet on the wall. <laughs> yeah. And then goes, boom, right to the ground. Yeah. 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 And, yeah. yeah. and then I love that. I love later where like he's he's like talking to people and the San- Sanderson just mentions that in the background she's just like standing sideways on yeah. the oh, wall yeah. like mocking <laughs> him like yeah. that's so go funny. off <laughs> yeah go off yeah Zeth oh, is great. one where you're gonna learn much more as you move through the series good I, that's what I was okay. hoping for when I heard it yeah when I what, learned what, who what he we get was here and, yeah. is is a lot of mystery yep a lot of wow what is this okay and then of course at the end of the book yep (sighs) yeah well speaking of the end of the book i want to ask uh gabe and spencer what their feelings on uh well i don't know if you know what they're called you guys death rattles i think are they referred to as death rattles in this yes well Um, i don't know if they're death death rattles, but but i know what you're talking about i know exactly what you're talking about the last the stuff that's been recorded through the whole book right we get yeah so many of them are the little yeah exactly excerpts at the beginning which took me off the first time through i'm like what yeah, is this? Like, what the heck is happening? This. But towards the end, yeah, I'm well, like, oh. I, I would yeah, reading and I you would start to get a dark were... feeling. Yes. Because it's like, yes. so you get the quote and like, okay, that's interesting. But then it's like, subject was Recorded a 15-year-old something. After, something. 80 yeah. seconds after death, right? Or Wait 80 a seconds second. before death. Pre, or something like never that. after. Yeah, and so that, that's pre, that's pre, pre. That's what I meant before. Before. Always pre, that's a good point. So there's a lot of great reveals. But Seth yes. Caravangian in the hospital, that hit for me so oh, man, freaking hard. Was, yeah, yeah so what – so I, I didn't know they were called death route. Are you talking about the little excerpts where it's yeah, like a doctor's yeah. note, like a scientist? Or just exactly. anybody's, yeah. But a yeah. Kaladin so also sees them in the battlefield. We see Teravangian them. is how I say it. Teravangian's yeah. total gig with the hospitals is to record those. Yeah. The hospitals yeah. are not about so the betterment of man. When death goes to take out a, the, a king, right, or something yeah. in the later – that's towards the end, I think. Yeah. The end was kind of yes. a blur for me. I, I Zesh is like given this big good. list. Yeah. But he gets, and it's he chaos gets there. all over the world. And yeah. the last name on the list is, is Teravangian. Yes. Right. Okay. And he goes there and he and then he shows him. He's like, this is what we're doing. This is what we've been doing. And yeah. he's like, how yeah. could you kill so many? He's we like, we need, need to, we this need information. To, we need this information. Exactly. And we need so to figure out we invite why invite everybody happening. to come. And sometimes they die and we record these things. Oh, but yep. not enough are dying. So this is the room where we actually kill some. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And much earlier it's foreshadowed. Yeah. Uh, oh, what's the name of the city state? Um, Carbranth. Carvangian. Carbranth. Yeah. Yes. Carbranth. It's like Carbranth is great. Like there's not like it's surprising because when Jazz the the lesson, which is another one of my favorite scenes, when Jazz Jazz kills a dude, they talk about how there's not a lot of crime, and there's a reason because the criminals get uh, disappeared into the hospital. Up by, yep. 
Yep. Yeah. Oh. And the homeless yep. and the prostitutes. The people no one would miss. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. The, the dredges. Yeah. yeah. Street yeah, urchins. Totally. That's like the, a lot of them are kids because, you know, no one's going to miss them. Yeah. So it is some really yeah. heinous, heinous Dark stuff going on. Stuff. Yeah. Now, right. you don't get in this book truly what Taravangian is all about. Yeah. I, I think just get, he's doing this yep. and it's horrific. Yep. There's more to come. Yeah, I think that's but the you, big thing I was I was hung up on was was just those, you know, obviously it's a it's a worldwide thing, right? Or or something that they've studied and they've been tracking, Vangian. Uh and so it's like why? Like what are what are the, the people that are dying saying? Why are they what is to come that you're trying to figure out? You know? Now the excerpts at the beginning exactly. of chapters, half yeah. of them were those. Yeah. Right. Did yeah. you catch what the other mm. half were? I don't know uh, if I did. No, I, don't I mentioned so. it in one of our communications. Yasna's research. Like it, oh, oh, I was thinking of the letter. Okay, <laughs> okay. okay. No, I, uh, of what, in this Gavin? one, it's it's just the things that she's been gleaning from the library. Yeah. We'll go one wow. at a time. Jasmine's research, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So what about which is what about... loaded with stuff that will make sense later? <laughs> hmm. Okay. All right. Yeah. And the, see, the, all... the ones at the beginning. Sorry, if we're just on this subject. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think yeah. it was a part one. There's this, it seems to be a piece of, of this weird letter, someone sending to someone. Um, and that's um, that's probably where the uh, the Cosmere interconnectivity is at its most, with, is within that letter. Uh, uh, oh, and I don't know if it's see. spoiler to reveal, because... Sure. Uh, well, well, the one, the person he's sending it to has not appeared in a canon work yet. Mm. Um Okay. So I don't know if I, that's even possible to spoil if it doesn't appear. But anyway, the person sending the letter like, do you guys agree it's not a, a spoiler to say that? Sure. I don't. I would. Know. Don't, it's never. It's never actually revealed. I. It's not fresh enough in my um, head. This one, I'm not remembering. Boyd sending the letter to Frost. Ah. And he's like, um, and he's like, oh, I've, I've traveled here. Uh, gotcha. Your your friends. Yeah. I see that your friends in the 17th chart are chasing me. I've set them on a false trail, probably for the best. I don't think they have any idea what they do if they were to actually find me. Um, mm -hmm. but if you were to, right. it's all in That's little right. pieces, sentence mm -hmm. by sentence, but you, when you put it all together, it is Hoyt yeah. sending a letter to someone oh. clearly yeah. not. You guys Russia. caught that bit about wit, right? Yeah. yeah. Sam yes. doesn't know yeah. the connection, yep. but you guys yep. do. Yeah. 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 I, I texted the, uh, That's this had a hunch, dude. The second he heard it, he was like, yeah. I heard it like, yeah. like, like Tuesday of last, last week. So I was just yeah. waiting to see, and I figured that would be the first thing he says in the group chat is, "Oh my yeah. God, Boyd is wit, dude." <laughs> yeah, this is this, this is how I found out that Sam hadn't read any of the other ones because I I Boy texted who? the group. Yeah, Hoyt and I was like, exactly. yeah, I was like, I was like, "Wit is Hoyd, right?" And she's like, "I don't know who." I don't Hoyt know who is. that is. Yeah. And I'm like, no. <laughs> and then we got another one, all caps. Wit is Hoyd. Holy yeah. Is Hoyd. Oh my God. <laughs> Yeah, I I loved Wit. I anytime Hoyd pops up in oh, the Cosmere awesome. book, I yeah, I love awesome. him so much. Um, and I I loved his his cameo in this where he's got. It reminded me very much of Warbreaker, where he's like telling the story yes, with, with like the, the sands. Stand. Yep. Yeah. Same yep. magic. Same magic. Is it so the same? Magic. Okay. I would think. Well, that, not yeah, confirmed. I I I. I no, I I would. I'm be, with you. So, yeah. Not confirmed. I would guess that's the same I'm, stuff. Because he's a, you know, he's a master. Yeah, because because Kaladin was seeing stuff in the smoke or whatever. No, he was using yeah, sand, totally, or, or smoke, oh, he was whatever. Using sand? Was it sand or smoke in this one? I, I don't think it was, it was sand. Sand. smoke in this one. You know, it was just kind of some kind of sort of magic. Thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah he's well, telling you a story like with magic something. visuals, right? He said something like, "How did you do that with the smoke?" And he's like, "What smoke? There wasn't any. Like that was all mm. in your head." I think oh. he says, right? Oh, so, uh, yeah, he says that, but yeah, it's yeah. Yeah, who knows? Who knows? <laughs> Calvin says there's not enough, uh, not enough smoke to do what he he saw. Yeah. So it's yeah. some, it's actually well, I, I do know it's it's from a yeah. magic system on a, yeah. in an unpublished world. We have not yeah. been to that world yet. Oh, we have not okay. seen that magic system. Oh, cool. Cool. Now it. you okay. started us on this tangent. It's not tangent, but talking about Seth and his gravity magic. Okay, yeah. his his lashings and stuff. Yep. But you know, we see when we first meet him. Of course, it's the assassination of King Gavilar. Yes, yes. Which is just that's epic. a gnarly scene. Cool dude. and a gnarly. Oh, yeah. yeah. But it's one of those first mysteries of the book that I didn't catch originally and caught on the reread. Gavilar wants to leave a message. You know, as he's dying, yeah. You know, tell him this, mm -hmm. and Zeth can't stick around to give him a message. You know, right. so he he you know makes it like Gavilar wrote these it words in blood for somebody else. 
Just which kidding. totally has a different kind of meaning than Zeth had any idea. Zeth huh. doesn't understand a left card. Did you catch? Did you understand that? I no. I, I I was thinking it has to be with the book that they have, right? The the way because it was well, it does. That's certainly but how Dalinar interprets it. The yeah. problem is. Gavilar would not have known how to write that. Yeah. Men oh. don't write. Oh. Oh. Which is Shit. a part of the okay. mystery. I didn't catch the yes. first time I read it. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. That makes perfect so what, sense. What was the what was the like crystalline thing? D doesn't he give it? Or what does Do Brandon say? Yet? Uh it was it looked I can out. tell you. It looked like a stormlight sphere, but the light was wrong and it was radiating this purplish darkness and it just seemed wrong. That's what mm. we know about that sphere. Uh, and that Seth it. hit it somewhere. Seth knows exactly where it is. It's hidden safely and securely somewhere. I can't remember. He says where he hit it, but gotcha. somewhere in a cave somewhere. That's gotcha. it. But I think it's not a spoiler to say that it may have a relevance in the future. Oh, of course. Got it. Of okay. course. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, of and course it will. Javelar's no doubt about that. It. And he's, he also said, so the exact quote is, take this, they must not get it. Tell my brother he must find the most important words a man can say. And that's that's where I was like about that book that he was following. That's, that's yeah, where that I got that Yeah, is that Way of Kings? From. Yeah, okay. Is, is, yeah. Is that the yeah. book? Okay. Yeah, that's, that's what I figured. Okay. And one thing I want to mention happens shortly before that is one of the things that got really hooked me into the book is when gavilar is dying it's like oh like who who sent you because he's confused mm. like what the hell is going yeah, on yeah what's happening uh, sadius restores thatakar and like we know who sadius is or we, we do shortly after yeah but, like those names throwing it out there is just like oh who are these people what what is it's just really just the world is so big and yeah. honestly you don't even get some of those answers for quite a while and it is yeah, it's right. uh brandon is seeding it so early he knew exactly what he's doing and it's you brilliant. will get the answers but like you, you will, said, you just got to go while. on. You just got to keep reading. That's yeah, great. like something I caught this time that I don't remember having caught before, which isn't like a big thing or anything. But in the book, at one point, they talk about another part of the world where they can get the gem hearts, but it's from a completely different type of creature that gives them. And they said they're much hmm. smaller. And um, oh, God, I can't remember. Um but I didn't remember that from like the past reads that there were other creatures that also mm. you could like harvest your gem hearts from. I didn't. Oh remember. yeah. Yeah. I remember what you were talking about They, were, I, I forget what it was someone had killed, but they were like, I pulled the gem heart from it. It's not as big as like a chasm fiend, but yeah, it's still I think it might've been one of the bridge four members talking yeah. about like where mm. they were from or something like that. But, um, right. I thought that was interesting because you really do kind of live in this bubble of like a left car and their customs and the, the way that they do yeah. things. And you re realize later on that, Oh my God, like this is not the way the whole world. Yeah, there's a whole yeah. other not whole even world. Close. You're just looking yeah. out of state right now. Pretty much. Yeah. Country, One of the right. things that was like, Whoa, we get to meet Sigzel, One of bridge yeah. four yep. who we discover trained under Hoyd. I love yes. it. the world <laughs> right. singer, you know, and so yeah. yes, that, that was like Whoa. his last words. Like, tell, tell Sizzle, My he's apprentice. a full, yeah. like he's a full like song singer, right? Well, yeah, world he has singer. passed. He that's, that, that was so cool. So, what is what is a world singer? A world singer. So what yeah. we understand, it's people who go around spread telling stories, but not like stories in terms of fantastic tales, but just telling telling people about truth. cultures. Yeah, um, like and yeah. Oh, this is the guy. <laughs> <laughs> is this is the guy where the the other guy on the bridge crew was like sing us a song or whatever and he's like yes. that's not okay. what i do yeah that's not how i work and yeah. something i caught on this read which is like Sig the first in kind of introduction of signal in brig four is he's a big dick to kaladin and i totally forgot that and i caught that like mm. that and he becomes around one of kaladin's guys pretty quickly yeah but he's very much on the moash side of yeah. F this guy um <laughs> right off the bat yeah see i wish you know, from the beginning of the book, I I was not expecting this crew to, like, become a team. I thought that Kaladin was going to be, like, in this work camp, and he was going to escape and go on to, like, go do his own thing. And so I was, like, not paying attention to what any of these guys', like, names are. Uh, <laughs> so I'm, I'm hoping, I'm hoping as I go into the second book, maybe I'll, I'll, look it up just like the name of the the bridge members uh because going into the second book i'm like oh they're like a team now i i probably need to know 
who's who and like what You'll they do. You'll have time. And... You'll I have time. Be careful though. Just yeah. you could end up getting spoilers by yeah, doing for sure. Yeah, don't blog. look it up. <laughs> There's some yeah. huge spoilers. I yeah, do so enjoy I the Lopin. Lopin Lopin is fun. Numbers. Yeah. <laughs> When he when Kaladin recruits the one arm dude to be on his okay. bridge team because he's like, hey, gotcha. I got yeah. the, I got you. I can do that. It's like, oh, <laughs> yeah, goodness. that was so yeah. fun. Lopin's yeah. my favorite. I just love yeah. him so much. Oh, rock <laughs> number one. I'm a rock. Rock. Guy. Oh, love rock. And uh, I I know fight that beneath me. Yeah, I could. I'm the fourth son. Like we don't. That's do that. right. <laughs> but I can. Oh cook. yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because don't, d don't, uh, whatever their trade is depends on what line or birth what order, yeah. they are in the birth. Yeah. In the, yes, in the birth order. That's funny. That's but funny. it's also kind of interesting. The later sons are the only ones that could, like, potentially be able to. Is that what it was? Because the first yeah. ones have to be, like, it was the fourth and... son who fights. The first two, I think, are are trained for more important things. Yeah, isn't it like food? Because every house needs like a food and farmers. gatherer I think or something. Yeah, farmers. Yeah, third like... learns a craft, a skill. Right, right. Yeah, and then now, I think fourth cooking and after that, I don't know if you can see like back that. here, but I probably need to turn this around. There's a major spoiler for one of those characters. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> okay, well, one one thing I thought was funny about this book that reminded me a lot of The Wheel of Time is the use of storming. Like, they, they have, like, these, like, curse words that aren't curse words. In-world curse words, yeah. Yeah. Do, do we get more of them, or is it just storming? Hmm. Stormlight is pretty stormy heavy, uh, to yeah. be honest with you. Yeah. <laughs> the in-world swears, they're usually fine with me. Sometimes they don't work quite as well, but in yeah. Stormlight specifically, it just works so well. Mm. And Brandon oh. really leads into it, because I think it's pretty much the only curse people use. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. Oh, the storms are everything, the man. It's bad. Yeah. They'll, yeah. they'll swear by the heralds for real swears, like by Vev's golden keys. I think that's mentioned oh, in this okay. one. But they'll... Uh, by somebody's eyes, they'll swear by the herald mm. sometimes, but most of the time it's storming. Okay. Spe so, speaking yeah. of, can I throw something out there? Yeah, so, of course. I was talking with um with Spencer because he uh before we started this because he asked you know who's the who's the guy at the end, um and I'm like yeah. well I don't think it was well to say that there's enough hints you know I knew that after the book one so I let him know that that was that was Talon that was you know the herald. Uh, well, maybe I don't know how many. It's a real just drop in dots are connected. It just shows up and it's like, what the heck? It just yeah. shows so, up. So, are, are the heralds the guys at the beginning that left their swords behind? That's correct. Yeah. Okay. And they're viewed now as gods. They don't really know what they are. Sometimes they call Jezreel the Storm Father. Some people don't. It's all very, it happened a long time ago. It's all mixed up. But yeah, 10 heralds. Yep. And the very first prologue is Kelek. Or Kalak, I, I can't remember the spelling he uses there. The names morph over time. You, you okay. hear them, Talon, Elanat, Talon, Jezrien, Yezai, Yezai. They, they go by a bunch of different names. But it's Kalak, Kalak walking through uh, the field of battle after desolation and then having the conversation with the uh, well, with uh, Jezrien, I'll say. Um, and then Jezrien gets them know, lets him know that only one of us died. Unbelievable considering the carnage. Who was it? It was Talon. What are we doing? And then they pretty much that's the moment. Um, well, I can't remember. Oh. How, I don't know how many dots are connected, but pretty much. And then they all go their separate ways. Leave the leave the swords in the rock. I did that. That's there's. I can't add more detail than that, right? Yeah, there, there's sure. more to it, but you can't know yet. Yeah. Okay, yeah, got it. So, so they thought Talon was dead, and that's who was coming back at well, the end of the book. Well, so the understanding is when you the ter heralds die, they don't. They're not dead. They go somewhere. And oh. that's hinted throughout the books. Yep. Um, they yep. go somewhere for a purpose. Okay. Okay. It's well, and to be dangerous honest, territory here. I'm gonna start being quiet and let Jim sure. maybe try this. <laughs> it gets dicey. Okay. Uh, the the rest of them, they're <coughs> supposed to do something too at the end of that prologue that they're choosing not indeed. to this time. Indeed. Oh, yeah. doesn't tell us what they're what. It doesn't do. exactly say you'll okay. find out eventually, but there's you get the inference in that prologue that what's going on here has happened before. There's oh. been a pattern many times and okay. they're breaking the pattern this time. Oh, mm -hmm. Okay. 
And then we know after that, no more desolations for thousands of years. People, uh, the void bringers are gone. Um, Peace. And then this is, it's led up to this because it was a, it was an end to the cycle or okay so it was believed okay yeah because that's, that's i think jezrian says like what are we because he said calico says what will we tell them and he says well we'll we'll tell them we'll tell i think what does jezrian say like we'll tell them the truth that it's over and you yeah. know maybe it actually is or something like that um right and then they walk away leaving the swords in the ground um and i think okay. yeah that's so are we are you know speaking of like these little mysteries you know we're seeing there's a couple different things that i was like how how does this specific thing play into like the big story of like the desolation oh, and everything I have I one. sorry that's I my have point one i guess to, to book at my point my question sorry i, I guess my sure, train of thought was leaning ahead. towards we see one herald for sure town right. did you guys identify any so we know like they there are still like at least one of them still around did you notice any other heralds? Because on rereads, it's it's obvious, but there's specifically in the interludes. I don't think it's a spoiler to point it out because it's it's very um, there's no inf- ah, maybe there is information in fast. Do you think it's can we talk about heralds or should we just move on from that? I, think I just love that one on. interlude. So it becomes much. more yeah. obvious yeah. later. It's, yeah, it's yeah, yeah. Fair detail. enough. Fair enough. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I, I I did not notice any other heralds besides what. Dalinar was seeing in like his visions. I don't even know if those are heralds or or who those people are. But Fair enough. We should Fair touch enough. on those yeah. those visions though. Yeah, I say I'm, I'm, yeah, after so, you, I'm, I'm because they I'm have a sense of so visions. I, I, I just I just want to I just want to mention the the three things that are are kind of in the same vein. So we have we have the visions, and I thought okay, those play uh, somehow into the larger story. And then there's the thing that Shalan sees that are like these. That she keeps like mm. drawing Shades in the smart. pictures. Mm-hmm. With the, yeah, with exactly. the yep. that's where heads. she visits. Yeah. yeah, they have like, like her some crazy pattern heads. Head. When she yeah. Yeah. caught with the, uh, or uh, you know, yeah, she was like yep. drawing them in the background of like the every King's time she, it was it was totally like the angels in Doctor Who. Every time I look, they're closer. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, oh, exactly. Okay. exactly. Yeah. So there was that, and then there was the. Uh, I was kind of confused because there's the Parshendi and then there's the Parshman, I think. Mm-hmm. Are they two mm-hmm. separate things? That's a great question that okay. we will not answer for you right All now. All right. Okay. Because at, at the end, I know for sure that Jasna was saying that the, I think it's the Parshmen are the are Void Bringers. The void yeah. bringers. But and she says something like that's her understanding. She's like, we didn't Mm -hmm. kill them, we enslaved them. Yeah, Uh, that was the moment for me where I was like, oh my god. One of the other hammer reveals in this book. Yeah, now loved it. So that people don't come at you, it is definitely Yasna. I said just Yasna all the time, but it's Yasna from Brandon. That's how it's pronounced. Yeah, yeah, that's fair. Yeah, I, I so I read, I. I read the paperback for a while before I started the audiobook, so I kept yeah. reading it as Jasna. That and then when I did the audiobook, I was I like, it oh, it's Jasna. Yeah. Sorry, Sam, I cut you off. No, I was going to ask if you noticed any other character mentioned that they were seeing things that weren't there that mm. Shalon had when she was drawing her pictures. I mean, Dalinar and then Kaladin kept having, like memories i don't know if they were like delusions like dalinar's were um i don't know i can't think of any other no, people okay. yeah the thing that i wanted to touch on was they have an opinion of the radiance okay that right. the radiance okay. betrayed yeah, humanity betrayed the world they were evil but dalinar he sees i think it's called the recreance he calls it mm-hmm where the the radiance that's that vision where they drop their swords they drop their armor and they walk away yeah but now suddenly kaladin is turning into a radiant right yeah people kept calling him a radiant he's like i'm not a radiant i just that's like not yet yeah Yeah. right Uh, yeah yeah (laughs) there's something there i don't know what were you making of that and to keep in mind that happened before the tower scene where some things yeah. seem to have changed a bit because he does mention he oh, i can still suck in stormlight but 
it seems I can keep it. I can keep it longer. It seems to be more right. efficient now. So it seems like something may have changed at that point. But um, See, yeah, I'm, your your thoughts on the radiance as a whole would be interesting. See, I'm wondering, and don't tell me if I'm right or not, but I'm wondering if the rad, like the knights radiant, are almost like a reincarnation thing. Where like they may have like died off, but then they're like reborn as someone like Kaladin. That's kind of what I. That, that was my thought too. Like they were power like a long, long time ago, and, yeah. And now there's somebody that's inherited some power. Maybe, maybe not all of it, but yeah. It's a theory. Okay. It's a th also, one thing I want I really want to talk about is uh, soul casting. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's a uh, something that you know, throughout the book was kind of mysterious in the way that it works yeah. uh, and energy displaced and energy gained, <laughs> I guess I was thinking of is, is something that's suicide attempt. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Turning, mm -hmm. turning stuff into blood and then having to cover it up was all. Uh, and then find, finding out that just, just men. Yasna was using a soul Yasna, thank either. you. Sorry. I, yeah. I, I, I appreciate it. I saw the wheels turning. Yep. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yes. yep. Yasna was, uh, um, you know, we find out that she's able to soul cast that her, the thing on her wrist was a fake. It was she doesn't need, something. She doesn't need soul it. Caster. Nope. Don't and, need uh, it. yeah. So that the whole concept of that baffles me and I would love, love to figure out more about it. I'm assuming we will in later books. Um, yeah. Yep. So it I, may come up one again. Thing I am very much excited yeah. for. Well, yeah. and she it explains may come up Shalon again. Yeah. After, <laughs> yeah. 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 after everything came out, she explains to Shalon that, like, no, there are real Fabrials that people use yeah. so fast. Yeah, totally. I, for some reason, am able to exactly. do it. Without and, and, it. But yeah. she has right. the same power, right? Like, she's like, I, I went. She was yeah, able to like, follow to, Shalon. Yeah, that exactly. Moment when Shalon shows the drawing. Yeah. And Yasna's mm, like, the who showed head. you this? Exactly. Who Where'd you get this? Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. So I'm, I'm really, I'm really looking forward to, to seeing how that plays out. And, and something that really stuck out to me this time, even after seeing the drawing, even after seeing she went to Shadesmar, she was still reluctant to take yes. Jalen under her yes. wing. She's yep. like, yep. still had the instinct to send her yeah, away. Yeah, literally and, took her, and took her to the very great, last point. She had a great leverage point. Yes, mm -hmm. I can be the Absolutely. person you That's don't right. have I can, to lie to. Exactly, yes. exactly. Yeah. Right, Those right. exact that. words. Yeah, and wait until awesome. you get to about ten, seven chapters into words of reading. <laughs> awesome, cool. That's I'm cool. excited. I'm excited. Yeah, I I liked because uh, at the end there, I was like, man, Shalan needs this like uh, soul caster device and. She's like not able to take it now. What is she gonna do? And I, I did not foresee Yasna taking her back on. I, I assumed that she neither. I thought, yeah, I thought she now. was done. Yeah. Yeah. But then but then she brought down up those, those arguments. A little bit. Too. Shalon blackmailed her. Oh, oh totally. yeah, for sure. Totally. Yeah. yeah. I could tell yep. everybody what you're really doing. Yeah, that's right. right. Exactly. I, Never says I, that, but it's inferred. Yep. It's inferred. Yep. Hard, I, I felt yeah. the same way. Yeah. <laughs> And I and wonder, thing, like, she also hit her with like an argument that couldn't really be challenged. She's like, literally, what you just said. I can, I can yeah. be the person you have to lie to. That's all. See, that's right. That's that such a great. That's all she needed. She's perspective like, on it. Okay, and it's true. I need to maybe rethink yeah. what I'm doing here. Like, okay, I have to lie to everybody else. Like, why don't I have yeah. this one person yeah. I can be honest with? And she's got going for her too. Yasna actually enjoyed having Shalon. Yeah, she right. did yeah. enjoy yeah. having her despite her preferences. She was like, yep. it's kind of nice having someone I can talk to yeah. who yeah. has a little sass like I do. You know, right. it, it, that yep. was working. And I'll her. note something I noticed this way too is one thing that helped convince Yasna is when Shalon tells her, I stole the night you killed those men. Yeah. Um, and I think Yasna would have known that Shalon, like she knows, she was her bathing intended. Shalon could have stolen that thing a bunch of times, at least mm -hmm. once for sure. And yep. Jasmine yeah. knows that. And I think she like, ah, oh, man, like, cause it is a very, we could talk about the lesson for a long time. I think it's a wonderful yeah. chapter. Yeah. Very interesting. Lots oh, yeah. to talk about there. Yep. But I think Jazz is smart enough and she sure, she sure is smart to know like that. It's very gray. And I could see someone doing an impulsive thing after what I subjected them to. Yep. Cause she right. subjected John to some, some, there's some a lot to say in that stuff. scene. Yeah. Right. Do you horrendous think, shit. do you think Yasna's a little impressed? That she stole it that long Probably. ago and then yeah. didn't go well, there, anywhere. There was a that, moment that, even that's where, the other like, part of it, exactly. She played it all that time? Where he told her and yeah. Yasna was like, totally. she just was silent. Like, what? 
and that yeah. she is so like never uh, surprised by anything she's so right. always on top ahead of you no matter what and then when you see her not ahead of the the thought line you're like okay this is serious like there's something totally. going on here right and, and then there's the whole jam and bread yeah <laughs> yes <laughs> yeah i loved that and yep. i was like oh my goodness but yep mm. So There's wait, layers be, there. Be, before we get too far away from Shalon getting taken on again by Yasna, mm -hmm. I was kind of like, okay, so Shalon tells Yasna why she took the thing. Um, I don't know if she described the whole situation with her family, but I'm like, why is Shalon not just asking her to help with her family? It's like, well, I'm an I, official I, ward of well, yours. Like, can you just help me with my family stuff? She realized that her brother, right? Nonblant was part of this thing that, that, uh, Shalon was like Ghost searching bloods. for, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And so she was, I think, I think my understanding is she felt a little betrayed, mm. maybe a bit confused. I don't know. I, I didn't get that. They don't know what no, Ghost it, it was are. not that her brother was part of it. It was that the, the or her dad. Sorry, of yes. the, the house. Stewards Stewards. And Somebody dad. was part of it. Oh, so, um, yeah, yeah, for sure. But my feeling was she. She was like, "This is not as important as what we're doing now." Is the vibe right? I got. And I always felt she felt if she was to actually ask something like this, she'd be dismissed. Yeah. It's like, no, I'm, I'm not gonna yeah. attend to stuff like this. Now. And to, yeah, yeah. What, knowing what we know now and what Yasna is caring about and, and thinks is very important, I can understand Shalon's hesitance to think she might care about uh, some right. Jacobed local nobility falling yeah. on a house, falling on hard times. Mm. Yeah. Right. I don't know. I would, I'm just like, man, I bet, I bet Yasna would clear it up and she could clear it up so quick. It's like, why don't you just, why don't you just ask her? Like now that she knows why you were trying to steal the thing, I'm just like, dang it. Like, ask her to do what? Now that she knows, now that maybe she, knows she would. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But not yeah. before. Not before. Yeah, all that happened. No, but I'm, I'm be... talking about at the end of the book when they're talking about it. It's like, right then and there, why didn't she be like, can you help but, but me? But what do you want her to do? Fam? Well, they may get to that. The book's already this long. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but... It's just like the, the problem is the dad's dead and it's not like Jazza can reincarnate him. So like it's yeah, hard to and... pick her No, it's problem, not about the but... dad. It's about the the debt collectors that are after the dad and stuff. Like she could take care of that for sure. Right? Perhaps you're right, yeah. I don't know. Now you but... said she can't resurrect the dead. Oh, spoilers. No, sorry. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Shut don't up, do Jim. that, dude. Don't do that to us. God dang it. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I found all those scenes doing? super compelling. Even Jasmine, even Shallon getting to be under Jasmine in the first place. Like, because I, I just found the writing really good and the whole, like, going into the bookstore and, the, like, I just found it all, especially on, on this time, I remember it being a little bit boring my first time, but it's just, it's so nice and, like, it's it's i don't know it's very good writing in my opinion mm -hmm. that those interactions her and jasna and her whole situation there capsule stuff is a, is a bit i'm not as high on um, i loved they, it yeah. i loved capsule i'm i'm yeah. super in it i'm super I, interested to yeah, learn I don't, if capsule I don't know. was a bad guy I, or not yeah my I, problem I, is i, I guess there's like so the, many questions they they, yes, they tied yes, in yes. that he is part of the ghost bloods yeah, yeah the ghost yeah, blood yeah, tattoo. Tattoo. so that he so has. this is this is what i forgot this is what i forgot so they mentioned the ghost bloods at the very end there. And I'm like, is this not the crew that Kelsier was a part of in Lost Metal? It's weren't a question. They, weren't they the ghost yep. bloods? Wasn't that That's the word? Say. It's a question, dude. But is that They're, not it's the same word? Away, Spencer, they cannot do it. Same word. Same, same word? Okay. It's, it's the same word. Okay. It could okay. be a tie in. It, it could be. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I was like, because I'm pretty uh, sure I'm pretty sure they called themselves the Ghost Bloods, but I couldn't remember if that was the name they used. Nope that that is correct. Okay, okay. Just wanted to make sure. Just wanted to make sure right. you don't have to give anything away. <laughs> yep, you're right. You're right. You're right. <laughs> um, okay, so we were talking about the lesson, the moral lesson uh, that Yasna did with Shalon, where she like kind of brought not she didn't bring them into the alley but she 
hi, I'm here with lots of money. Come run. Yeah, right. yeah. Help me, please. Exactly. And and Let me her just murder whole thing. four people violently in front of this little girl. <laughs> right? Yeah. yeah. Why not? Yeah. I don't yeah. understand why Shalon was so upset. Like, I know. They would have done this to anyone who was walking. No, down totally. The alley. Like, I, I, well, I, I totally agree with you, but but I, I don't think it was the. I, it's not so much the the crime that was committed, like because I think it's she the intent. Knew. Yeah, it's the, it's go the out. Yeah. damage that Chalon did, right? She's like, you could have, you could have done this instead of burning them alive, or you could have done this instead yeah. of just like doing crazy stuff. But I went also, with I'm with you though, Sam. Like that shit's messed dead. up. Like they yep. should not have done what they did. They yeah. should, they should be dead. <laughs> yeah, you know? but but the whole thing, but the whole thing is, she intentionally. No, yeah, it was so all planned. My my, yeah. my question was going to be, how does everybody feel about like the the morality of this? Because that's like the big that's the big the question challenge. for yep. Shalon. Yep. So what I want to I want to talk about Thaddeus real quick. What is his big okay. plan in this whole thing? Because there's a period of time where Dalinar is like, like, oh, I was so wrong about Thaddeus. Like he was trying to prove my innocence and they become like buddies. And then he betrays him. Thaddeus betrays uh, Dalinar at the end. And I'm like, I just don't. I don't understand the motivations behind either of these things. Is Thaddeus just wanting more power and wants Dalinar out of the picture or what's, oh, what's going on? So one here? thing, one thing I'll say is it becomes very clear through the actions taken that Thaddeus and Dalinar is convinced of it. And there's, um, and I think there's a lot of evidence to suggest that Thaddeus does not want the throne of a left car. He wants Elokar in that throne. He wants the power um, behind the throne. The yeah. yeah. He wants yeah, the, he wants the power behind it. Yep. Yeah, but he likes the freedom that he gets from being a yeah. high prince without but having Sadius is just a typical Aleth car yeah. noble. Yep. Yeah. He he He's a typical high he, prince they all talk about. Absolutely. Yep. He's after yeah. whatever advantage he yep. can gain for himself. And Dalinar used to be the same. That's why they were friends. Exactly. Yeah, okay. The problem but is Dalinar changed. has become had, something different yes, since yes. Gavilar's death. Yes. And now Sadius is like He's like, I what are you like doing? Like, why are you so you different? Dude. And yeah. eventually I'm yeah. like, okay, I'm taking you out because I yep. can. Yep. Right. Okay. And it's really obvious because like, uh, as soon as Dallin, I was like, hey, you know what? Like, we've been out here a long ass time. Years on, uh, on Roshar, not 365 days or 500 days. And yeah. they've been out there a long ass time and they have made very little progress. And the minute he starts getting, you know, maybe we should start rethinking how we're doing things here. Like, are we down, making, are we like, doing yeah. anything? We don't, this isn't our, this is not a left car. We are just in over here and we've been yeah. here for years. We're turning it into a city. What are we doing? And yeah. everyone's initial instant reaction is what you want to retreat? Yeah. Like a coward? <laughs> that's right. it. That's the only response. And that's why they wanted to get rid of them. It's because like, yep. they're all aligned. This is what we're doing. And suddenly this dude's talking about peace. Like yeah. he's supposed to yeah. go, he, he's yeah. like like downer used to be different and he's changed right yeah it, it seems it seems like one of those wars that have just gone on for so long that people don't even remember really why they're fighting anymore i assume it i assume it started with gavilar's death right is the when vengeance this war pact. started the yes. vengeance okay. packs right after yeah okay but you know you're explicitly correct because they came there to to punish the Parshendi for assassinating the king and now that it's all pretty much above everyone knows it's like yeah like we'll kill the Pershendi, but like we're going for those jam hearts like those yeah. are some big jam hearts hey eh, boys like right. that's what they're there for now that's why they don't want the war to end i love yeah. sadius's name because i can nickname him as just sad <laughs> sadius or thaddeus it's sadius s-a-d-e-u-s i think technically it's actually sadius but sadius yeah yeah, the way the audiobook says Sadius. I read it the first time, but my reread was audiobook. So yeah, that's where I get Sadius. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I kept thinking it was Thaddeus, like with a th. That's funny. Um, that's only in the Monty Python version where it becomes <laughs> Thaddeus. Thaddeus. Yeah. Wait, you know what? I would love to ask Spencer and Gabe a question of what you think, like potentially, could be a theory. What do you think is going on with Dalinar and him not remembering his wife? Mm. Oh yes. Tell us. He's away. He's he said Wait. he has a boon and a curse and he knows exactly what they are. He doesn't yeah. he doesn't remember his wife at all? 
Every time his wife's yeah. name is mentioned, he hears. Yeah, that's it. And he has no oh. memory of her whatsoever. Well, okay, so maybe what, I didn't pick up. What on was that. that? What was that magic? That's I and I can't remember where this is, but somebody's the talking about magic. you. The old magic. Yes, yes, the old magic. You you take you know you take a want you go and but then you get a curse with it. Yep. Right. Yeah. It's a give and a take. No matter where you go. Yep. You go to the, the night might watcher. be great. It might be lesser. The penalty might be huge or might be lesser. Nobody and it's knows. It's very looked down upon. Don't do yeah. that. Oh, and no, yet, of course, of course. Yeah. Those who can do. Yes. And Dallin are yeah. dead. Yep. Okay. That's that's where I think that has to be. So how how is this done? Like, how do people make this trade? Well, they there was an area that they talked about going to meet a witch or going to meet. Somebody. They go somewhere to meet someone. Yeah, and then okay. that person can bestow upon them this boon, but also you get this penalty. No this matter whole conversation what. Someone really isn't fair say. in a sense. You don't have enough context. We don't. Sure. I know, but we're just going off what we read. You know, that's yep. it. That's it. <laughs> yep. that's it. You do have. You got clues. You got lots of clues. We got clues. Lots of clues. We'll learn more later. Yeah. You yeah. will learn more later. <laughs> And it's brilliant when you learn more later. Yeah. Okay. That's cool. Yeah. It, it seems, it seems like this book is really sticking to the same thing that Mistborn did, where it's setting up a lot of things, some of which you can understand. Like, okay, I, I slightly understand how the magic works, but there's a lot of deeper stuff that I don't understand. And it seems like it's going to do what mistborn did but perhaps on a larger scale mm -hmm. um, well mistborn's a trilogy right and starlight it's not just five it's ten right. Right. Yep. and yep. each one's way but, bigger so just yep. stretch this that out and you're exactly yeah. right an issue with sanderson's writing though that some people have a legit beef about in that when he starts a series he does this he puts so many things in it that you can't fully understand right to the extreme so that mm -hmm. some are like you you don't really enjoy this book the first time and i feel that i did yeah. not fully appreciate or enjoy this book the first time i survived it yep yeah and moved on in the series because i had enough sanderson behind me yeah. and i'm like it'll pay off eventually is he maybe going too far mm. where he's he's pouring too much into people at the beginning without enough context so that it's almost not enjoyable Huh. That's, that's a question. A that's a very good question. A very might, good I may have a new episode to do on my channel. That's right. right. There, okay. Yes. <laughs> yes, you should, dude. That was. That I don't. Was really... I I don't think that it's not enjoyable. I just think okay. that you need to go into Sanderson books with the with the idea that I'm not going to know everything, but yes. I eventually will. Yeah. And I think yeah. I think Mistborn is the perfect stepping stone into something like this. Totally. Where Mistborn, you got to see a very or like a fairly quick payoff with the mysteries, and then two books later, you get the answers. Yeah. And mm -hmm. with this one, it's going to be five or more books yeah. until we have the answers yeah. to somebody. Totally. So it's it's kind of a longer game, but yep. And yeah, to be I honest, think... some things you think, oh, we're not going to find out this for a long time. You actually find some then you big, do. big yeah. answers pretty quickly. Yeah. But the oh. thing is, it just means there's so many more. Yeah, um, right. And right, I think right. I think so like as a first time reader, so huge. Yeah, as a first time reader too, like uh, especially new to the Cosmere, it's like, you know, what I'm used to reading, right? Like is 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 less complex, right? This is not a huge world that's been built by an author, right? Which sure. we're reading now, and so it's it's weird to think about the fact that like, man, I could, you know, I'm gonna read this entire series and still have questions about all sorts of stuff which is not right. normal that is an abnormal thing for a reader and i yeah. get why people love the cosmere because you you get that and then you get more as you read other books and other series and you can connect them all it's awesome yeah. but for me yeah. it was like kind of stressful like i was like okay i'm i'm seeing all these things like i can understand them i know what they are but like there's no i don't have anything to connect them with or it's like the Dresden Files, like I can connect anything, you know? Right. I know exactly what totally. magic is doing, what I know why it's working and the reason yeah. behind it. So I just I guess we gotta just keep reading, dude. I mean, there's no yeah. other another way ray around it. It's just gonna happen. So I, I wanna ask because we didn't I didn't really do this at the beginning. I wanna ask Gabe what what did you think of this book in a general sense did you like I, how, how high were you on it dude or... i literally read your first uh your first line it says i thought it was good didn't blow me away but the ending was great 
I'm eager to see what happens next. And I was like, that's it. That's exactly that's it. how you feel. Yeah. yeah. And I was also okay. on board with all your uh, um, uh, Shalant chapters were my favorite, for sure. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Cause so, you, so, so, oh, sorry, because you said no, go ahead. initially we, we were kind of talking. It was like in the first week. We yeah, had like I read, I read like, I read like 15 hours and I was yeah. just, I was lost. Didn't, yeah. I, I couldn't tell you what happened. And sure. so I, I and stopped it and I restarted it and I was much more able to focus on it. Um, and that gives, gives me hope for another reread too. But okay. yeah, so I probably felt like 60 hours in listening to this book and yeah, uh, managed to understand it well enough. It's an undertaking. So, yeah, so the, it was. The second read through, you, second you read through, en I enjoyed was, it. Yeah, I mean, well, I enjoyed it <laughs> enough to where I could well, follow it. Right, because the first yeah. there, I, I didn't know what's happening. I didn't know. Right. I could not follow it. Mind you, right. like I listen during work, which is sometimes very stressful. I don't sure. have a lot of time to listen when I can be quiet and still. Um, so I'm always fighting that battle, which sucks. But the second yeah. read through, I was able to understand more to where I could, like, realize what is happening and not just, yeah, yeah. you know, like, oh, this happened, and then wait, wait, what? Like, I need right. to go back, and I'll go back <laughs> 45 minutes and have to listen to that again and still not understand what's going on so right yeah okay that's cool yeah i'm, I'm glad uh i'm glad you ended up enjoying yeah. it because i i yeah it was I, good i'm ready for the next one for sure okay cool because yeah. leading up to this episode i was like is he even gonna want to read the yeah next I, one? Think, I figured you'd be worried about that i was thinking <laughs> i was even told leah i was like i bet you he's worried i'm not gonna want to continue <laughs> but yeah no, I'm, I'm, i very much want to continue very much okay cool yeah. That's great. That's great. Um, something I want to talk about real quick is that so Shalan or Shalan, whatever her name is, she has um Shalan. <laughs> Shalan. So there's there's two things about her I want to mention real quick. Yeah. One, she has this ability to like blink her eyes and like that take a picture cool. of something. Yeah. And I think that's nice. it's like a Super photographic cool. memory. Yeah. I think that's pretty cool. Yeah. Um, and then also she's got this like clever tongue like she's got this very like quick response yeah, she's snappy. witty she's snappy. yeah <laughs> For sure. and i i really like it but there's there was some times that the especially near the beginning of the book where she's just like saying things and i'm like 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 not thinking about them and i think there's a difference between being like snappy and witty and, and clever then the, yeah and then like the kind of person that like does that but they're like kind of cringe vomit, you know yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah. And so, like the things yeah. that are coming out aren't necessarily funny. show a little tact woman yeah, yeah. <laughs> right yeah. yeah it's like exactly it, it's almost like the difference between like your mom jokes and it, it's like the your mom <laughs> jokes of this world like just your mom Whoa. your mom like, yeah and that's kind of what it felt like i know you lot. are but what am i Right, exactly. But this and was so me. she knows that about herself, right? Yeah. And Yasna mm -hmm. actually says, "Yes, no, 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 no. What I was gonna say. let it out." Yeah, but learn to temper it. Yeah, yeah. right. Yeah. I I love this so much because I was thinking this at the beginning of the book, <laughs> and I was like, "Does Brandon Sanderson like think this is funny?" And some of it was funny. Yeah. Um, but I'm like, does Brandon Sanderson think that all of this is funny and this is just like who the character was or is? And so then when Yasna later was like, I like it, but let's refine it. Let's like, work let's, on it. Let, yeah. Yeah. Let's make <laughs> yeah. you like actually funny and like yeah. able to use that tongue <laughs> yeah. in like a really clever way. Right. And I was like, awesome. thank you. Like, I'm so <laughs> glad that it was addressed because man i was like i was like i really like shalan but i just don't know like five books of this like your mom your mom kind of jokes i'm yeah. just i just don't know if i could yep. do it i'd be a lot and so yeah oh, so i'm, I'm glad Jesus. i'm glad they addressed it but with that i do want to say the part that actually made me laugh really good was when she gets rejected by yasna and goes to the bookseller mm. and is showing him that she like actually knows what she what she's talking about he's trying to give her all of these like like just basic i don't or i think he tries giving her like a romance book or something mm -hmm. and 
I wish I had written some of it down, but I was laughing so hard when she was just showing him up at every single turn. Um, and then there was even a point where she like says something in front of his wife and the wife just looks at her husband. Yeah. Like you said that to her. Like, yeah, I, I just love scene, that like, where scene. The, the, the people, when she came over on the boat, there was a boat guy that helped her out in one of those stores. Right. Yep. Like she, she yep. was. Yeah. Yeah. yeah okay, the boat guy. I love the boat guy. Yeah. He's awesome. So he's awesome. He's yeah. awesome. Yeah. He was so great. I wonder if, uh, I wonder if him and the ship captain are going to come back later. I wonder if that'd be we'll, cool. We'll Cause that. I know like, like her it whole plan happen. was to steal the Fabriel and then leave, but obviously that didn't happen. She became right. part of it. She didn't go with them. Yeah. yeah. But I wonder where they're at. Like, are they just left hanging? Like, Oh, we're waiting right. for this girl or whatever. Yeah. I, I can't remember if that got Yasna. clarified. No, no, they're not left hanging because yeah. Yasna and her are going to get on a ship now oh they're, okay they're, they're gonna okay. go okay. that was awesome. said right at the end okay oh, fine. Oh, okay. Just we're awesome. going with awesome. them because nice. they're nice. heading to the shattered planes sweet mm -hmm. okay oh cool. so here's here's the thing speaking of the shattered planes <laughs> i i was curious at the beginning of the book i was curious how all of these characters fit together and how they like in my head i was like they must all like join forces at some point and i really liked this somewhat slow reveal of how yasna is the daughter of gavilar yep. or whatever his name was is his name gavilar yep. um yes. and then she's the is she the niece of dalinar yes right okay yep. so i i liked getting that connection and then i was like and dalinar seemed so far away from anything that kaladin was doing and so i'm like what what becomes of Kaladin? Like, even if he has these powers, like, does he stay a bridge member? Like, how does he ever get out of this situation? Because it seems impossible. And for a while, I was like, it, it would be so hard to find something to fight for. Because as a bridge member, you know that even if you do the best job, even if you do so well, you're never getting promoted. Like, you're you don't, supposed to die. Yeah, there's no up to go. Yeah, you're no, supposed you're to be there meant to, die. to die. Yeah. Yeah. And so I loved how everything kind of fit together by the end with Kaladin now joining Dalinar. And now it's if Yasna is going to the Shattered Plains, I would imagine that they're they're all going to be in the same room at some point. And I'm yeah. really, really excited for that moment. Yeah, one would think that's what's going to happen. <laughs> it could. Uh, vague answers at best that's all we get spence we gotta read yeah. more dude we gotta read right, more right yeah you have wonders to discover and you're gonna <laughs> right. love it nice yeah gavin and i were talking about this before the show hoyd talks with kaladin he's like telling him his story and everything and he says i've come to your land to chase an old acquaintance but find myself hiding from him instead do we do we know who this is? Is it any anybody from anything we've read so far? Let us let us ask you a question. Who is the villain of this story? Thaddeus? Of the Way of Kings. Or Sadius. Who who's the villain? Sadius. Or the par the Parshendi? It's an interesting question. Who's hmm. the big bad of Stormlight? What's what's the big conflict going on? Um, so there's no way for yeah. you to know at this point, I don't think. Okay. Um, there's obviously tons of hints all over, but oh, sorry, so I, I was, I was, I, I, I'm cutting out here. I'm, I'm up okay. north with shouting okay. internet. Sorry. All good. I all think good. the void bringers are interfering. They're, yeah, they're pulling, pulling the internet, dude. They're pulling the internet away from them, are here. Yeah. I'll let them get settled. Yep. Let no, you guys keep, you guys keep talking. Keep talking. Okay. All right. Um, so the only thing I can think of is at the end, Dalinar has this like final vision where there's like this, this God, he realizes that he's talking to one of the gods or yeah. heralds yeah. or whatever. Huge. Um, and, and this, this person, I believe wrote the way of Kings, right? It's the same guy. And no, it's not that guy. Okay. No. Well, okay. it depends what vision you're talking about. This is, is it the one that's with the Dalinar dude where he's very end, It's a different one. That oh, all the yeah, missions no, he's been seeing not. have been pre-recorded, right? Is that what you're talking about? Yes, that yeah, is that true. one. Yeah, yeah, that one. Um, and so he he's talking to this guy, and the guy says, 
I am essentially God and I was killed by Odium. God is dead, yeah. And so I'm like, I wonder, is Odium like the like if if this guy is like God, is the other is Odium like Satan, or is he like the is Odium the bad guy, basically? I, yeah, I don't know. My thought is like all the all the gods we see like in Mistborn and everything else, like they're all somewhat equal, just different areas. So yeah. who knows? Who knows who can have more overpower? Which you know. Now let's throw into yeah. your thought processes. Okay, this guy is like God, but he's dead. But this happened a long time ago. Right. Mm. Plug that into your understandings of the Cosmere. Oh. Okay. I'm just saying. Okay. I'm just okay. you know. Gotcha. Yeah, this is a dicey subject. I don't know how to talk about. All right, this don't, one. don't. If <laughs> okay, you can't, if okay. you can't do it. Don't do it. It's all good. That's okay. about all we can <laughs> no say, right? It's there. all good. No That's fair. That's no fair. Worries. We'll we'll take it. We'll take it. Uh, but okay. So then we'll we'll get answers to. Uh, will will we see Hoyd more in the in the Stormlight Archive? I think that's a safe assumption. Yeah, okay. I would say I feel like that's not a spoiler. Just say it's a yes or no. You know, we we okay. never know how he's yeah. going to show up or not. One thing but... I can tell you, I have no yeah. issue telling you, is that some of the things you have questions about, I still have questions about. Mm. We oh. need book five. Oh. We okay. need book okay. five. Gotcha. <laughs> All right. All right. Okay. Cool. Um, and then we talked about Seth's master, who is doing the experiments he becomes the king he's the king yeah yeah king and we, yep. Taravangian. and do we did is there something that i missed in way of kings that told me more about that or is that just something we don't know why he's doing this at that well at this do you point? mean more about the person that because it, it's always stated that the person that holds that stone or whatever it is is the master of zeth without Correct. a shadow of a doubt right and yep. so whoever Are you talking has about the that, killing monarch part or the, no, I'm, I'm, the, I'm the talking I'm talking part. about I'm talking about the experiments he's doing with mm, the dying people. Death rattle things. It's death like rattle. why 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 is he doing that? Do we know? So I think our current no, that was what we were talking about earlier. Reading reading the death rattles, they seem to be of a prophetic nature. Yes, and I think the, the assumption sure. is he for believes sure. they are legitimate prophecies and yeah. he's trying to you know, learn what he can because he thinks something is coming or something yep. along those lines. Yep. That's it's exactly right. what I think. That's exactly no, how I felt. You don't it. know yet. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah. The specifics are indeed revealed, but not gotcha. as yet. Gotcha. Got it. Okay. Um, so as we get to the end here, like end of the book stuff, uh, I had a couple great moments that uh, actually made me like tear up a little. So after Dalinar, um so kaladin comes through and he basically like saves dalinar yep. and gets him back to adeline right there yeah and they're like coming back and they uh they have like this interaction with with sadius and dalinar we talked about this a little bit earlier but dalinar gives up his shard blade because he asked like how much do you want for the bridge yeah Sa sadius was Man. like there's nothing you can give me there's nothing yeah. you could give me to stop this and he's like what about my sword and that is like that's anathema to them oh my who gosh, would ever dude. give up their shard sword dude it's not something right. that they would do sadius so wants a shard yes blade. Yeah, yes he exactly. wants it so and bad so the second it was given he was like yep deal done in that and, moment, you get the impression if Dalinar's like, "Yeah, and I want your whole army too." You should sure take you would, it. Yeah, like, exactly. I, yeah, I, I, right. I <laughs> anything, anything to get that blade. Yeah. Oh Doesn't my matter. gosh. And like, it's it's such a good moment because, and I, I think Jim talked about this earlier, but up to this point, Kaladin has had this hate of the light eyes, right? And he's just like, they're all the same. They all just look out for themselves. Like they may come across like they're the good guy, but they're really not. And it's just this moment where Dalinar can truly put his money where his mouth is. And I don't think that he even understands like what he's doing for Kaladin. Like he's he's changing no. the way Kaladin completely thinks about this whole thing. But that's why it's right. He's not yeah. doing it for Kaladin. He's doing it because it's right. Because it's right, yeah. And now and as, the, 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 as the something of war. Uh, yeah. Oh, High whatever, Prince of High War. Prince of war mm. yeah. Now he's going to impose that on everyone yeah. is what we see at the end of the book. Yeah, You will exactly. all follow the code. 
Exactly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Yeah, that's going to (laughs) work. Um, but yeah, I love, I love this little moment where, where Dalinar like puts his hand on Kaladin's shoulder and says, I don't know what has been done to you or what your life has been like, but I promise you this, you will not be bridgemen in my camp, nor mm, will you be yes. slaves. Yeah, and so this awesome, moment, dude. I was just like, oh, yeah, I was like, also it... crying. There's no doubt about it. No <laughs> doubt. About it. Oh my gosh. After this whole book of <laughs> yeah. Kaladin being, and, and everybody else being so mistreated. Yeah, it's not even Kaladin, dude. It's, it's his crew. Like he cares yeah. so much for his crew and he never wanted them to be like for them to be, part of any of this like like yeah. like they don't deserve to die in a bridge raid like he just right. he wanted everybody to be okay and that was given to him by i could see it on I, sam's I, face I, you love this part too <laughs> <laughs> my favorite part and i mean to back up what gabe says after the whole you know battle with downer and they're trying yeah. to decide like oh can we run you know kaladin even says i can't what about the men that we've left behind you know yeah. that are still back there like you guys go you're gonna wound me and i'll stay and i'll make sure like they get taken care of it, it's just my favorite scene in the whole entire book it, yeah. it's, it's just, so good yeah. and they so continue good. to build beautiful lever uh, they no brandon sanderson continues to build <laughs> beautiful yep. level level in here when dalinar has a conversation with kaladin of what's next yeah, yeah. and i want you to become the king's guard yeah yes. wants to protect him and kaladin is like well, I will check with my men. That's right. You know, like, let me talk they to them first. Will do whatever I decide. Yes. But I am yeah. going to check with my yeah. men. There's yep. no assume. Right. He is such a good leader. He's such oh a good yes. leader. It's just hands down. That's what he's ever been taught to save people. You know, yeah. This whole and entire I, thing is to save people and, and save lives and help people versus just knowing you're going to die and running out of the bridge expecting to. Yeah. Yeah. Totally. A scene that really struck out to me this time is him at the Chasm, uh, the Honor Chasm, um, oh, getting ready yeah. to commit suicide. Uh, mm, yes, getting ready yeah. to jump, yes. thinking about jumping. Yep. And it, his motivation, and with the help of still, obviously, there's the whole poison stuff, which is interesting. But yeah, what really stuck out to me was the only reason he decided, you know, I'm going to try once more is because there was no, there he could not have failed. There was, it was he could yeah. only do good. There's no fail because these men are guaranteed to die. Yep. So if they die, it's not a failure of his. Exactly. That is the guaranteed result. Yes. And yes. it's that mindset. But the question is, if he's no longer in that position, um, and you know, whatever, something bad happens, is he going to be able to fight back like he has before? Yep. Um, because, you know, there is situations um, unlike where he can fail, unlike, you know, being a bridge man where, yeah. you know, he's amazing, obviously, but. Oh, of course. Yeah. Like he, you know, he motive, does everything he can, but, but his bridge guys dies. Like there's people die. There's no question of that. But he's doing every. He's going out of his way to procure bandages and this and that to make sure that he can save lives of his bridge. I mean, even after that, right? He's always so, trying to. I chuckled yeah. at the beginning of your illustration there, and it had nothing to do with what you said. It had to do with my graphic because you know you said he's at the honor chasm, and I went. Whew. And then my hand bounced, yeah. and I'm like, yeah. body wouldn't bounce. What am I doing? You know, sorry. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, that was dark and morbid. Okay, go that's ahead. all right. <laughs> dark humor is fun every <laughs> once in a while, you know, it's all good. Yeah, uh, um, so there's there's this other there's this other quote that kind of goes bounce along off with a parchment that. body. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Just That's the even big, darker. <laughs> just a big pile of parchment bodies. Oh, yep. Yep. Yeah, we haven't yep. even talked about chasm fiends much at all. Exactly. Let's yeah. Oh, real. yeah. That's well, there was. Yeah, there was. There was that one scene at the beginning. I thought that was pretty cool. But I, I wanted. I want to real quick just talk about this. The continuation of that scene with Dalinar and Kaladin, uh, because there's this moment where he. Dalinar asks Kaladin what he thinks uh, the others would say a life is worth or what whoever would say a life is worth. Yep. And Kaladin says two emerald bromes or whatever, thinking that, you know, that's the price that they're paid for as, as slaves or whatever. And then uh, Dalinar asks him what he thinks a life is worth, to which Kaladin says that it's priceless. priceless. Yep. 
and Dalinar says, coincidentally, that's the exact price of a shard yep. blade. Yeah, Today, yeah. you and your men sacrificed 2,600 priceless exactly. lives. So I've and got all I had to give was one yes. priceless sword. Dude. I call that a bargain. Yep. And I'm like, yep. Dude, just that moment, I was like, yep. let's so awesome, go, dude. So awesome, dude. It's no. so, so good. It's it, it made me love Dalinar more than I already did. And I saw a lot of things <laughs> online um like people saying like dalinar is like this really bad guy but he's got like a redemption arc and i didn't see that in this book at all i didn't think that time he... okay because i didn't okay okay because I, I feel like, like i don't feel like i've seen a bit, of, wrong. I a bit of redemption me. yeah no he, no, no he was never a bad guy totally he has referenced yeah, the black thorn numerous yeah. times and the okay. fact oh. that he was drunk when his brother gets killed. Okay. So yep. there's stuff yep. back there. That's fair. Okay, so it's in the past. We have though. not it's heard. Not yeah. Like, okay, yeah. we're not like not watching today. his redemption arc presently. Okay. Okay. Cool. Well, 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 deep into it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Got it. Now, Got it. You mentioned, you know, okay, this conversation at the end of the book. Go just a little later is one of my favorite moments when Kaladin okay. gets back to Bridge Four. They're yes. all free now. They're all free. They're having stew. Mm -hmm. as usual they're still and, eating their stew <laughs> and they've seen him you know what he can do and he's like they're gonna think of me different now and they're like hey can you teach us hey yeah yep. we start testing it you know th yep, they have right. all these curiosity questions yeah. it's like yes. you're not some weird guy you're us i love that and exactly. we yeah. want just like to know we more yeah, and i dude. loved that yeah that was i so good i I thought that was such a great like end to his POV chapter. Yes. So I'm like, the, the book could have ended right there and it would have been like a perfect ending for me. Um, I, I love that scene so much. Cause yeah. I, I love these scenes with just like these little moments, whether it's the guys around like a campfire or there was like a flashback with Kaladin in his small town. And I think her name was Laurel yep. and his brother. And they're like, looking for frogs in the oh, rocks or whatever brother. they were called. Tien. Yeah, that was sad. Oh, I know. But there, there's a scene of them just like in this small town on like a summer night looking for frogs in the rocks. And I was like, that's I, I love stuff like that. And so I, I love this. It was the perfect send off for this book to have Kaladin come back and everybody welcome him with open arms. They're all in a better place than they started out in. And I'm like, that that was the scene. Like literally that was the scene. Yeah. Yeah. That, that was made the me scene be like, I'm, die. <laughs> I'm like I'm like, I'm ready for I'm I'm ready for the second book. Like with yeah. with them just like all at the end all all happy and whatnot. I'm like I'm I'm ready to go to the the second there book. There you go. So yeah. It really nice. picks up in the second book. It, it really does. It, it really does. Up. I believe it. Yeah. There was so much foundation put in this yeah. one. Yeah. It I really think of this it. one as building the world. And then now you know the world and it's just we get to run. The hard part's over. Right. Yeah. And and that's that's definitely what this book felt like, right? It, it felt like it it had a lot of work to do before stage. we could get on to the meat of the story. Kind of um, like a prequel in a way, you know, like yeah. really when it's setting the stage. Yeah. A 15,000 page prequel. Yeah. You know, no. <laughs> I love yeah. a really long book. I am the opposite yeah. of, I love the longer the book, the better to me. So likewise, gonna... <laughs> likewise. Yeah. I wanted this, the fifth one to be 1500. I, I don't, well, I blow it out long as it can go. Yeah. There you I'm, go. I'm ready. For sure. <laughs> what about, I'll, I'll say one more uh, scene. One of my favorite scenes and also one of the funnier moments is down our confront confronting Elokar at the end with yes. you know, beating him up yes. what the hell he's doing you don't oh. quite understand it you it starts to dawn on you what he's doing and then his yeah. parting line as he leaves uh by the way Elkar, i'm courting your mother best times to start getting yes. used to it slams the door it's like nice. oh, that was so, so great that was such that an in your face God. moment <laughs> and i i love that he just went in there and started kicking the shit out of him just like yeah. kick after kick after kick and I was like, oh, you it's gotta so wonder brutal. what the guards outside. He told them, whatever you hear, I don't love come how in. uncomfortable the it's guards fine. were. Just yeah. Trust yeah. Me. But you know they're out there going, Holy crap, he is yeah. beating the crap <laughs> out of it. Yeah, you yeah, know. Yeah. And and Elokar is his nephew, right? Yes. Okay, yes. Just brother to son. 
Yasna's okay. brother. Got it. Okay. Yeah, I I love that scene. I I was I was kind of shocked. I was not expecting Elicar to be the one who had cut his own saddle and all this other stuff. But then there was something. Wasn't there something he said at the end? He's like, did you do this other thing? And he was like, no, I actually didn't do that. And I can't remember what it was. He said something like, I'm seeing faces and shadows everywhere. I'm always surrounded. He says something. In the mirror. He's seeing stuff in the mirror. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. Mysterious. Doesn't Dalinar ask him, like, were you the one that stole the something? Oh, there was also like, the cracked uh, cracked gems in the plate, too, which is a yeah. open mystery. Oh, so like, that was the other that. part of it. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Okay, yes. Yeah, so that's interesting. But, yeah, I mean, I imagine... I mean, I don't know. Maybe, maybe Yasna has the same thing that he does, and she just, like, doesn't put it on display for everybody to see. Because Shalan is seeing all these, like, shadow people... Yasna's brother is seeing all these shadow people in in mirrors and like very paranoid and stuff, and so I wonder if I wonder if Yasna's experiencing that too. Very well, could be something that stuck out to me this ride too, and it doesn't really matter that much for this book. But I forgot how much how down Navani is on Elokar in this book. She really shits on him relentlessly. Um, <laughs> I, liked it. He to be I didn't sure. notice. And That's what she sees. He's mother. not strong. Yeah, he can't say, do it. Yeah. He, he, He's an imbecile. He's a child. And he's stomping around and saying, I'm the king. I'm the king. Listen to me. Lead with your actions instead of just right. mm-hmm. humper tantrums. If he was on right. Game of Thrones, he'd be dead already. Yeah. yeah for yeah. sure. For sure. Yes. That's great. Mm-hmm. That's great. Speaking of, we do have that awesome. episode to watch later. We, we do have that mm-hmm. episode. So we're, minutes. yeah, we're going <laughs> to. We're going to wrap up here. Uh, as we go into our final thoughts, I will ask the the veteran Stormlight readers, um, is there anything that we didn't bring up in this episode or that wasn't in my notes that you're like, ah, he needs to like pay attention to this for the next book or two? Um, <sighs> is, there any, is there anything I missed? That it's I, like that two I hours worth of content we could just... talk about still. Sure. But... I was going to say tons and tons and tons of stuff. Like, it's so hard. <laughs> there's we need a like, part two and a part three, okay? Of course. No, no, no. It's, it's impossible. And the, it gets dicey because there's so many hints. So it's possible to figure out certain things. But, like, it, it would be a spoiler to tell you. So, like, right. for, instance, like for instance, you read a certain character. And for us now on the reread, it's so out there in your face and these guys will know what i'm talking about yeah. and it's like it's almost not like it's hidden but as a first time reader it is entirely invisible and right. you guys will figure it out in the next book yep. and yeah. it'll blow your damn mind once th- you I, actually come back and reread it that's fair and see you how much it is literally out there. just say listen no you need to read more that's yeah, fair the hint that's that's totally fair. Fair. Way for, for sure that it had relevance to to yeah. you know things that are going to happen so it's just there's too much to yeah. even mm. So we've encapsulated well yes, the crux yes. of what you would get from this book on a first time read. All right. Yeah. Perfect. Awesome. Yeah. Agreed. Cool. Like I would one thing I'll talk about is my favorite interlude. It's probably the most meaningless, unimportant one. It's just the scientist couple, the older scientist couple doing like quantum uh friggin superposition but with storm like <laughs> with investiture instead and they're and like oh, go over there and measure it. And if you're not you you can't measure or it, once you measure it then then it becomes static and it stops Fixed. moving oh, and some I of like the this. nerdy investiture science is a fun yeah. scene and and they, yeah. the fact that they actually name drop the spiritual realm cognitive realm and physical realm in that chapter i had forgotten and it's like oh. some of the the world building is just so fantastic in this yeah. book it's what really yeah. made me love it yeah 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 there's there's so much about all of this to understand and i hope i i hope that in the next couple of books, I at least have a solid understanding of the magic system because that's something like no doubt about Mistborn. it. Okay. Yep. Just in, keep it, reading and get smarter. Yep. Okay. Cool. That works. On yeah, this read, I'll just say I hadn't realized like not how little was in it because there is like so much information, but to a first time reader, how little the information you feel you're being given. Yeah, I, I that's. Thought of it that, in that context before, and now yeah. I was like, 
oh, without like knowing this, this, and this, like, yeah, this went right over my head. Um, right? so I did not realize that until we were texting about it, and you're like, right, well, is this gonna happen? When are we gonna get to this? And I'm like, oh, I didn't realize, like, you know, that right. I've read it three or four times now that it's like reading it for the first time each time I read it, but without yeah. that context, you are kind of missing. It's just going to go over your head. And it's just the way that it is. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, you realize that's... the stuff that doesn't feel that important is all of it's important. It all, yeah. he's seeding the stuff early. Yeah. Uh, those interludes, every single one of them is there for a reason. And it's, yes. uh, right. but it's impossible on the first hand. It's just, yeah. it's just impossible. Right, like, right. unless you're some super nerds. I remember way back then, some people back in the community back then guessed some things based off the tiniest, tiniest bits of hints. Oh, but at that okay. point, you're just kind of, throwing stuff out there and there's some tiny things that you could have picked up on and people are like no way that no way that's true um no i can't give any hints but it's like so there, there's so many hints but um eventually just it, it's a lot more fun just to figure yeah. it out on your own yeah. so many great reveals coming up yeah, yeah. i'm excited because that that was definitely something in this book where i was like i wasn't like frustrated but i was like i feel like by this point in the first book of Mistborn, I had a better understanding of the magic system. And in this one, I got to the end of the book and I still don't <laughs> really understand the magic system besides using Stormlight as like a power source. Um, well, the magic's pretty much been gone from the world for what, like 4,500 years or something? It's uh, We're seeing some oh. glimpses of it coming back, but it's largely uh other than well it depends because i think of the magic tech like fabrils as being totally separate but really okay perhaps it's not quite as separate but um yeah no there's not a whole lot of magic in this one it's all it's it's obviously ramps up you see the direction this you know there's a conflict coming obviously in some respect but uh it's not very magic heavy but you get the you get the glimpses yeah. of it because you see an expert you see seth um and so you know what's possible but you just want right? more right the paladin breathing in the stormlight and mm -hmm. teft learned about this but didn't want to because it was stupid stuff we don't know all the answers mm. on that yet but he right. was supposed to learn about this stuff in its ancient history that he's supposed to have learned uh what about any other any other final thoughts before we get going here i'm excited I I to, mine. to figure out more you know that's basically that all we can be uh, on the first book next time and see how mm. your thoughts differ once you get more information yeah I think a reread is going to be really exciting after I finish all this. Yeah. You know, you'll yeah. want to once. You oh, get for sure. I don't. I don't doubt that for a second. I do not yeah. doubt that for a second. Yep. There's just so much that you're like, oh my god, this like one throwaway line just means so much more than I thought. <laughs> oh man, yeah. And one thing I'll say is, there's at least other than Hoy, there's at least. Uh, well, no, this isn't a spoiler because I'm not saying anything. There's at least there's characters you've seen in other books that are in this book in disguise. There's no way unless you're a giant yeah. mega nerd like some of the people ten years ago to figure it out, but they are there. Um, yeah. So that's a little teaser, um, yeah, even totally. though it's never really <laughs> revealed. <laughs> but they're there. They're there. They're there. Nice. Reread the All pure right. lake interview interlude. I'll say that. <laughs> the what? Juicy stuff. The pure, pure like interviewed with the dude interview. who's walking around the fishes, the fisherman guy with the weirdo yeah. strangers looking for someone. That would be a good one if you want to just do a one off reread of an interlude. There's a lot okay. of stuff there. Okay, I'll do that for sure. And that's actually something you can Google, I think, if you want to, because, well, I, I think that's right. If you want the identity of those people, you could, they but give, it is there so all pseudonyms, trepidatious but... to, to Google. Yeah, I'm going to be very yeah, well, I, careful I, I with all right. of my with all of my Googling. Um, nice. Even fan art is so spoilery sometimes. Like I haven't, <laughs> I haven't seen any like spoil spoilery fan art for this, but there's definitely been series where I've like looked up something for a thumbnail, and I've been like, well, now I know that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep. Uh, there for all sure. right, guys. Well, we are gonna get out of here thank you so much for for joining us today jim and gavin oh, yeah. you guys have been awesome it's been a blast uh, yeah it's been fun to have three people that Some have read experts? the series yeah dude. yeah totally. for sure totally. pleasure always so awesome well yeah we'll have to uh we'll have to get you guys back on if you want to come back for words of radiance you're more than welcome to uh are are both of you guys doing like a consistent reread right now? Or are you like are you like going through the series or were you just reading it for this? 
I'm working towards it. I, I moved on to other stuff right now, yeah. and then I will move back into Words of Radiance soon. Yeah. Sweet. Yeah. With the okay. new book coming out in December, it's kind of the perfect time for me to continue on this rereads. I don't have to do it, speed read it, you know, in December to get ready. Right. So. <laughs> right. 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 Yeah. I'm reading a, a nonfiction now, but I plan on going back. It's the perfect time. Cool. Sounds. With Stormlight like Five comments. Give us a deadline for when we yeah. need to be ready, Spencer, and we'll I have think, it done. I mean, I think I think the goal is once a month, right? Because December, I mean, that's four. Do you know there what you day in December it comes out? I think it's the yes. 26th. I think the day after Christmas. Like six, is it that late? I thought it was earlier in December. I thought it was the 16th. I thought it was oh, like the 16th. That maybe. sounds I better. It's in it, but I don't remember the exact date then. Yeah, I think it's the 16th. <laughs> Yeah, the, the goal is is once a month uh, leading up to the fifth book. I don't know for sure if we'll hit that, but uh, that's that's kind of what, what I've been aiming for December lately. 6th. So we'll, we'll see. December 6th? Oh, that's even closer. Oh, even we're better. Better. Yeah, <laughs> I just found it too. Well, I, I, I looked at my pre-order. December 6th, it drops. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we definitely, we we probably won't get through our, our read before december 6th but we we might be able to get to the fifth book at the end of december i don't know we'll I, see. I have a feeling there's gonna be quite a bit of Are all the other books around, also around like 50 then, hours so. yeah they're all oh, every this is a short one big honking okay. books they just okay. get longer with you each want to book. see okay. like look at this is rhythm of wars hardcover oh, oh yeah that's a, yes. that's a 40 that's hour massive. book for sure <laughs> It's all right. Yeah, okay. like, I got to I got to gear years. up. <laughs> yeah, gear up. That's that. wild. That's wild. It's huge. That's crazy. It's, 50. it's, it's big. Jeez. Yeah. <laughs> well, that'll be fun. I'm I'm looking yeah. forward to getting through each one. I don't I I really don't know if we'll get to it by the end of the year, but hopefully we'll be able to get to it like <laughs> shortly after after the release, because that's the goal here um but all right guys thank you thank you so much for hanging out with us and that is going to wrap us up for today everyone be sure to check out jim's channel fantasy for the ages which will be linked in the description as will all of our socials and our patreon page uh we'll try to get stormlight done by the time the fifth book comes out but we'll see how it goes because these are pretty long <laughs> yes. books yeah so i don't know uh but Upcoming episodes include Sam's first official pick for the podcast. I believe we're reading oh, Ninth, Ninth House. House. Yeah, I'm excited. So stoked for that. Uh, and then we'll most likely be going back to Hogwarts for Goblet of Fire. Yep, so then yeah. there should yeah. be a Dresden file somewhere in there. I know. I was thinking the same oh, yeah, thing. I'm you like, should, it's got to be. A, it's got to be there somewhere, man. The next yeah, year at I'm, least. I'm like maybe. Skin game maybe, up next for you guys. Yes, it is. Yes. You want to join us for that? Yeah, you should. Hey, uh, I awesome, wouldn't refuse dude. it. I love awesome. Skin Game. It's a yeah, two for me. I love book. Skin book. Game. Great book. Okay. Yeah, we'll we'll figure that out. Um, but I think then after that, it'll be the next Stormlight book. Uh, and that'll be... We'll, we'll likely be doing that after, you know, whatever, if we do a Dresden Files episode or whatnot. Yeah. Um, but... Be sure to subscribe to see when those get posted and join our Patreon if you want to see them early. With all of that, thank you so much for hanging out with us today. And until next time, go storm yourself. <laughs> nice. That's a good one. Hell yeah. That's, That's a good, good one, one, dude. I'm going to tell my wife that. Go storm yourself. Go storm yourself. No, don't I'm not doing the laundry. That. Go storm yourself. <laughs> And a big shout out to Caitlin. Thank you so much for backing us at the Greenbone tier. <laughs>